You got him right. It's this again. Responsible for changing so many minds on how we express ourselves. Much love. I got a block in my round. motherfuckers i i want that as my new intro i don't get this is that that song goes so hot i'm so glad that you're fucking waking up to it months, hi claire <laughs> well let me hop on screen hey. <sighs> holy shit chan i've missed you oh my god <laughs> what's this oh it's on linkedin in chat it's an AI cover that I actually found, and it goes so hard. And I was like, I was scrolling in the comments on YouTube, and I found... Where the fuck is she? I think Fefe complimented on the Fefe? The fucking, uh, what's it called? Uh, yeah, <laughs> the VTuber. <laughs> I found this comment. I DM'd her about it and everything. <laughs> anyway, chat. Go, oh, whoops. Goes hard like a kidney stone. <laughs> fucking hell. Anyway, boys, ha! Huh, how have you been? Holy shit, I've been away. I've left, but I came back with some cool shit. Look at, look what I fucking got. Hold on. Wait, oh shit, there's a lock. There's a safety lock on this thing. <laughs> I have a fucking lightsaber, Chad. <laughs> Dude. This thing lights candles from four feet away. I swear to God. Whoa. This is sick. But I'm really scared of it. Like, I, I'm engaging the safety lock on this. <laughs> Dude. Ashley has given him another thing to burn his house down. Yeah? That's why I'm gonna be taking on trips. So, you know. You know, if I, if I can't have knives, I'm having a fucking lightsaber. Beat that, fucking government. Yeah. 
I can't own a gun in England. Like I got, I can't, I can't carry a knife. Fine, I'll carry a fucking lightsaber. Oh, sh oh shit! I had Streamlabs turned off this entire. Oh shit! <laughs> I had Streamlabs turned off, and um, there's like there's there's so many. Oh shit! There's so many Prime subs. There's so many subs. Oh fuck! All right, I'm gonna just say it's gonna start from here. Shit, Chad, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, see. Eh, 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 eh. Wait, listen to the song while I'm while I'm gone. Are they playing? Yeah. Ah. I wish I knew the lyrics to this. I wish I knew the lyrics to that. All I know is there's a glock there's a guac in my wowry. Wowry. <laughs> anyway, do you want to hear about my week, chat? I gotta fucking, I gotta tell you about some shit. Oh, I got a Glock in my Rari. <laughs> Play it. I gotta have it in the background. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So, as you may be aware, and um, shit, I didn't tweet today. Fuck. Uh, whoops. Okay. Well, I'm slacking a little bit. My bad. But as you may be aware, I have um been goofing around recently i'll every month i'll go on these little trips i'll go on a little vacation so to say in which i straight up just dress like a girl the entire fucking time well not really but from like months i'd say 11 11 a.m to like 11 p.m you know what i mean i'm doing photo shoots we're doing all this stuff i get a bunch of like uh i get a bunch of like dresses and shit to wear right wait this is news yeah, this should be news to you, I think. Oh wait, did I ever tell you about this? <laughs> did I even did I not ever tell you about this? Tank's downstairs. He's overtired. He's, he needs a nap. But oh well, okay. I've been I've been I've been doing that. Shit. Um, I've been um. Well, never mind. Okay, either way. Well, I I do these. I do these little trips with uh, Hitch and and Barbie, uh, and we go and take a bunch of photos, which go up on the battle pass, which is a fun little ordeal. But I rarely leave the room. I rarely leave the hotel room. I think I left about three times. And one of the times was, I'm not sure if you're aware. <laughs> I'm going to go straight back onto Reddit. One of the times, uh, it was to fetch uh, food. And I want to show you. <laughs> yeah. Here's, let me show you this story. And I'll tell you about it too. It was about the end of the day. And I look like this. I got my makeup done. I'm in like a little a little dress. I don't have the craziest makeup on in the world. It's the end of the day. You know what I mean? What do you mean? You always leave the hotel room? No, I do not. Holy shit! I barely ever left. And then uh, we had to get food. We always get like some nice food at the end of the day. And this one was the big one. This one was the end of the week. Oh, hello. What? Hello? Okay. <laughs> this five times months. I threw you out. Okay, I barely left the. I barely left the room. Not including the time that Hitch picked me up and put me outside of the room. There was that one time. But, you know, besides that, when I left of my own free will... Wish I could stay and celebrate our sub-baby, but I have to get back to my own birthday party less than three. Oh my god. Jesus, happy birthday. Wait, hold on. Where's my mirror? Oh, it's there. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta do my eyebrows. So, like, three I got rotated. No, no, no. I was just... I was... Turned horizontal. I was I, I went from vertical to horizontal. Rotated would be make a full one full thing like 360. I did like a 90, you know either way also tell Tell that you got suspended on reddit good times. Oh my god everyone. Okay, I'll talk about that after but that wasn't anything Um, But like so I went to I went downstairs. I, it was the last day we had like we ordered burritos We ordered five guys because it just never had five guys before how the fuck is that even possible dude anyway, so I Was in this fit Bobby picked out a dress for me, and I went I went downstairs. I j I Went out to go get the food in this I have heels I have done <laughs> and you can really tell by it goes from here to like this this will be interesting to Getting a little scared, still confident, to- Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't 
stared at a lot, dude. I went to go visit the- I went to go visit a pub near, uh... I went to go visit a pub near, like, where I- where I'm gonna move to. And I realized something that, like, ah, oh, this is a bit, like, How's it hanging? old, you know, of a town. Like, people are kind of just older. And there was a guy at the bar when I was ordering that had no problem just doing this. Just staying like that. I made eye contact with him. I stared ones. back. People are fucking- <laughs> People are freaked out by me. I want to be able to use this as a superpower. I want to be able to do bits. But I'm either not funny enough to think of any. <laughs> no, it's probably just that. I don't- I can't- I want to think of a way to fuck with people. I think I'm just scared. Waving. That is- Chat, that's not flirt. I apparently- I get- Where's Ashley? I need to grab her. But she- uh, She's taking care of the dog. But, but she keeps saying people are flirting with me. That guy was not fl He was like 60. That guy was peeved. I mean, maybe I'm doing the wrong face. It's more like- 44 months, that's cool. That, you know? But there was a guy, I bought a- I bought a top today. I bought a- Don't say it. I already know what you're gonna fucking say. I- She's- She lives with me. I get it. <laughs> there was- I bought a fucking, like, a sweater. In Holy town. Because the first, like, already. I don't get out Thank much with the puppy. Everything Finn. And Holy also shit. Ashley. You two give me energy to get up every day and make the dark and hard days a lot easier. F1 and N heart gay pride. Oh man. Oh man. Oh good fuck. Oh man, that was so sweet. What Four months for the best femboy but... out there. F1 N N cow jam. F1 N N cow jam. I apparently don't notice when people are flirting with me. At all. Like, I'll get- maybe- is this a girlfriend thing? Like, is this just having a partner that they say like, oh they were flirting with you the whole time? Or is it genuinely something people are doing? Because I don't know. Less than three, it's hard to believe. Three. Like, there was this guy at a store today. And... He did ask for my number. Pogu. Uh, he's probably floating. I gave him my number. She was with me. Like, you know, I, I did, I gave, I, I had, it was like someone at a store. Like, I shop there a lot, but this guy was new. And so it's not like abnormal for like someone to ask for your number, but then he pulled, like, it was like, like, I watch your email, type it into the system, and he's like, uh, sometimes we get stock that we don't put online. Um, you got a number? So I can add it in, and he, his phone, and like, I gave him my, I, I gave him my number. Okay, as I explain it, it does sound more... Oh yeah, he also said goodbye like this. <laughs> like, I, I was leaving after paying and he went... <laughs> and Ashley, Ashley walked away just with, just miffed. Just, just with, just this... F1 and N heart. On her face, and then I go, are you okay? And she goes, like, why is everyone... <laughs> Jesus, you're oblivious. I didn't think it was. Because he didn't look like... I was about to say some shit that's probably bad. <laughs> like, F1 I don't know, he didn't look like... Jam. It didn't seem like he was gonna be in... It didn't seem... It didn't seem like the type of guy that would be into me. You know what I mean? And like, I, he knows I have... No, wait, 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 wait. Because I, I said like, I, I'm getting a gift from my girlfriend last time I saw this dude. So like... Please don't burn your house down. I don't want to feel more guilty. Oh my god. I'm so glad that I have it though. Also, they send you these lightsabers. Where the fuck is it? They send you these lightsabers with like signatures from everyone at like Hacksmith people and it's sick. I right, genuinely good product. Thank you, Hacksmith people. I bought it. I don't know why I'm saying thanks, but it's fucking cool. And it was like 40 bucks, I think, right? They're genuinely really good. It's probably like best YouTube merch, like ever. It's sick as hell. Is there any other good YouTuber merch? Like, not like clothing, just shit people have made. Like, Mr. B says Twitch. chocolate. It's not been six months. Fucking right? gamer subs, maybe? Slash, slash right. That barely counts. What is he a YouTuber made that's genuine? Sour Boys. Sour Boys is really good. There's that. Ashley bought it, mate. LCT with the screwdriver. I have that backpack and it's good. It looks real nerdy, hey, but it's good. Everyone in the UK remember clocks go forward tonight. Excellent Due to vodka? the octa quadruple leap year, tomorrow is the 3rd of March. Just in case that's important to anyone. Eh, oh, fuck it. I, I mean, I, I, well, I gotta do that, yeah. I gotta change my watch. 
too expensive. The vodka is it really that good? The sidemen vodka? Because being a super cutie wooty. Everyone I've ever <laughs> on my toilet bidet. There. Everyone I've ever like had. I don't know. I've everyone that's had like sides. The 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 food that sidemen make said it was like really bad. Not even mid, just bad. So. I don't know if I trust their products. I don't want to talk shit though. I don't need to. So I've never had it. Rip my quality. Everyone I've ever had. Shut the fuck up. Everyone I've ever had. Everyone I've ever met that's had. I'm dyslexia, dude. Shush. Prime sucks. I've had Prime. It ain't bad. It's not great, Good but it's not bad. Like food. F1 and then head pat. I'd say that, look, my hot take on Prime is it's just as good, but depends on, like, it could be better, it could be worse. Have you ever had fucking Powerade, man? Powerade sucks. Powerade sucks dick and balls, but in the same way that Prime does. You know what I mean? Like, it's nothing, it's nothing different. It's fine, it's the same shit. It's an energy drink, it's whatever, you know? Like, it's good. As an energy drink, it's not a good drink, oh, but no energy drink like that is good. <laughs> oh, thanks, gaming giant. Fuck yeah, nice see you again. Clocks in the UK move on March 31st. Oh, are they just fucking with me? How about power thirst? Looks crystal meth in a can. Just drink monster. In all fairness, I guess like a can of like the prime energy stuff has like 200 milligrams of caffeine. Well, so nine months wanna... subscribed to this entertainer. Worth it. <laughs> oh god. That's not good. If I ever get a Wikipedia page, and I'm just written down as entertainer, that's sus. Like, I know I make what I make, but it's a little sus to explain it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Didn't Epic Mealtime sell bacon once? Surely not. That was so long ago. Surely not. Adult entertainer. Yeah. I'm an adult. I'm an entertainer. I'm, I'm also an adult entertain- Ah, uh, you know, Jerry rig everything knife. There's a guy that makes a knife? Jerry rig everything makes a knife? I'm gonna judge this shit so hard. Are you doing P.O. Box packages soon and also when is the cutoff date if we want to send you birthday gifts? Oh fuck, there's not- I mean, I guess like April 1st, probably. Probably a good margin. I don't like that the pocket clip isn't swappable. Like, oh wait, no, is it? If I can move that down there, then I then that's okay. I guess I I don't Time really plan on carrying like that. Fun. It's a backlog. Oh, never mind. Okay, it's thirty. It's fourteen bucks. This is fine. This is this is fine for this price. Uh, I guess it could have been like. Yeah, this is Smash. solid. This is fine. I, I don't, this is pretty cool. More of a box cutter than... Hold on, when you say more of a box cutter than a high-end knife... Look at this shit. There's some people that make some crazy box cutters. Oh, oh, fuck, dude. I'm gonna get on this grind. Hold on. G&G. &G, Hawk. 36, wow. Utility. Uh, oh, let's see this thing. Look at this shit. So, this is a knife from, uh, from Hawk Knives. Like... Personally, it looks a bit ornate. Even though it's not really meaning to, but there there are some genuinely like wild fuck it like this flips open. It's a frame lock knife, I think, or is it? No, this might be a back lock. It's neat. I just like shit like this. <laughs> you know, there is some stuff like that. If you want an easy bit, just tell them you smoke. The fact that vocal cord damage takes longer than you are old, notwithstanding. Oh shit. Do you get vocal cord damage if you smoke stuff that's not cigarettes? Someone's gonna have to tell me. Cause I don't wanna- I feel like I don't wanna know the answer. It sounds sus as hell. There are high-end box cutters. Cause the thing is about knives and stuff and high-end knives, they feel really nice to use, but you gotta sharpen them. And not everyone's cut out for learning how to sharpen a high-end knife. Like, a knife that if you fuck up, it's like negative a thousand dollars, you know? Like, 14 bucks. Hell yeah, buy like 10, you know? Like, if you really want to, is it really that big of a deal if you lose like 10 bucks, pretty much? Or 20 bucks for shipping, right? Like... 
Solid. Yeah, I think good on him. 38 months. How are you making me stay subscribed this long? I don't know. I don't know if it's fucking imposter syndrome. <laughs> I just don't. I don't know. I got him here to talk shit with friends, pretty much. That's it. Had something like that where I didn't realize it was flirting. Girl was like, you need to sign your number this for your insurance plan. And this one's for me, with a little sticky note XD. You di- Are you 10? What do you mean, sticky note XD? When did this happen? Fucking 2001? What the fuck? The- Hold on. Almost you didn't get that it was flirting after that? Watching. She'd said, this is my personal phone number. Like, I, li I didn't get, like, a text. Did I? Okay, well, it wasn't a flirty text, but it says, like, it's it says that it was the... The other thing is that anyone that you meet like that, that's, like, a clerk on, like, that works for, like, a, like a, a store or something like that, they give you a WhatsApp instead of, like, a personal phone number. But I entered my phone number into this guy's, like, iPhone. That might be a thing. <laughs> Shit. Mini lightsaber hacks one and then, If you can't tell when someone is flirting, most of my comments one, to Ashley like on stream are flirting, and most of my comments to you on the pass are too. Though obviously not meaning anything that serious. And, we're gonna have to go out in Rotterdam. Maybe. I mean, I, to be honest with you, I always like saying 40 like- 40 months. That's the time I have been an egg so far. No, time no. that I could have been transitioning. Still if, going strong. If you know Damn. you're an egg, you're not an egg. That's kind of the thing. You're just in the closet. If you know you're an egg, you're not an egg. OMG, first baby with the femta. What shall we call it? Ooh. Yeah. Fred. Frederico. Oh my god, dude, I haven't done my eyebrows in so long. Shit, I haven't done my eyebrows in like a week. Ugh. Apologies all. Frederico. I can confirm that UK clocks do not in fact go forward to the 3rd of March tonight. It was a joke. <laughs> I'll get my coat. God damn it. I know they don't go to- oh my god. Party popper. Poppers? I mean, what? Can I tell you something, chat? I've had poppers before. Almost a year. I like man, saying I'm things so like that and then nothing else. changed it. my life so much. <laughs> I even found my girlfriend of two years because of you. Thank you. I have him a thing for, for this. You. Angelic I've, face. I've tried. I wouldn't say like I've had poppers. I've had a popper. I've had like I've tr like I. Here oh. is a sub. You will need the money for when you burn the house down by mistake. I'm gonna buy more of these. Well, here's the absolute degeneracy. Well, it's probably not what you're expecting. Poppers the devil. I don't know what the fuck the hype is because I tried them because soda was over Did and I soda went. To check? Have you ever tried a popper before? And I went no. And then he just went. You, s you just open this and sniff it for a sec. And I did, and it just smells like sniffing a pen. Nothing happened. Just, ugh. Is that good? <laughs> like, like, just, is that something that people like? Why is that a thing? I don't actually get the use. <laughs> what, what is it supposed to do? Then, then you woke up. Oh my god. <laughs> don't fucking, don't say shit like that. Oh my god. Two years. Oh, yeah. Jesus. You felt normal. Maybe I just natural. It's for, it's more. It's to relax muscles for intimate time. Oh, okay. I thought it was like a like. Poppers lowers your blood pressure. Twenty five months. Dangerous. You sniff too much. Oh, I've heard that. Yeah. Um. I've heard a story from someone I won't name that was like they spilt some, and they just had to vacate their home. <laughs> like, 
They just, like, that door got locked, fucking towels and everything, and then they left to get it sorted out. <laughs> sorted out. Hey f one nen and just uh, a friendly reminder, the first Bordell gift card you got expires next month. Shit. Shit. Oh, fuck. Okay, I'll- <gasps> Yo! I can give that to Barbie for the next shoot. Oh, fuck yeah! Dude, Barbie will go ham with that. She'll find something really cool from there. I'll get her to send me it. 46 months and still like, story time. Maybe I'm just naturally relaxed. Maybe just nothing. They'll make you high for a couple minutes. <clears throat> what? That sounds shit. <laughs> bottoms? Po poppers? Oh my god. Poppers are a drug for bottoms because it heightens pleasure here, and makes it easy to fit. Transfirm. Life is good. I knew Thanks, what they're for. Filter. Are the LTC knives in stock for you? I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, they are. Apparently. There's actually a sale going on on jerryrigknife.com. So it's on their store where you can buy the LTT version. Just Nick Light. I don't know what the fuck it is. If you're not bottoming, you won't get it. Oh, okay. So they're not like... A, it's not like something you can just take and just fucking go out or something. It's not like a, a fun drug. It's just something for bottoms. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what did I just tune into? Hey, man. I, I'm just... I just oh lighter. I found another one. I've got so many things to make fire in this room. Where's the other one? I've got all my lighters in this one room. I need more. I want to collect lighters. I want to be one of the Zippo people that can do little tricks, you know. But I'm just not that cool. I saw a, I saw a um what's it called? Ah, bachelorette party for Chasey in Rotterdam. And my husband called me out for using mid in actual conversation. I felt kinda cringe for it. Looking like five people for the Canada Wiki Cord meetup, at least. Woo. You're doing it- wait, hold on. In Rotterdam? You're doing your- You're doing your bachelorette party in Rotterdam? Or are you- oh, you're asking. Shit. Bottom thing. What the fuck? How are you verified and come and stand in the normal camp's bottom thing? Okay, I mean like- we could. I'm down to go to a bachelorette party. If you're doing it. I mean, fuck. Ashley's gotta come. But... What the fuck do you do? I'm not planning it. <laughs> I'm down to tag along. But... I, I, I don't like saying yes to too many people with, like, meeting up stuff. Because you end up meeting people and then finding there's already shit going on that you've gotta go to. It's, it's very odd. So I usually just stay for an extra few days. Just so I can fuck around more. Is Rotterdam nice? I don't remember who said it, but someone said that Rotterdam was kind of not good. But I don't yeah, believe that, months. because it's next to Amsterdam. How are you doing today? So it can't be that bad. Amsterdam's lovely. Are you going to be the entertainment? I'll be the <laughs> No. <laughs> it's mid. It, it looks nice on Google. Remember I... I oh, I spelled Rotterdam. <laughs> it looks nice. You know. Rotterdam is like Birmingham. This is no- Okay, just having a quick check, you know, on- on Google Images. Um, you know. Okay, now let me- let me Google. Birmingham. So Soda Cat isn't only a pedo, but also a drug dealer. Should I contact Quinton Police and report the case? <laughs> it wasn't in fucking Birmingham. Also, <laughs> I'm not going on that fucking train. Also, I never- <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, hold on. Oh, no, I don't want to see the Birmingham flag. Also, is my Streamlabs disabled on this one? Have I been fucking something up? No, it's enabled. Okay, good. I didn't want to... Birmingham looks like shit. Birmingham is genuinely dreadful. Like, this is one of the... The, the Detroit of England! This is where I live, chat. It's the land of Peaky Blind. Oh man. Oh man. Hmm. I'm just trying to find one good photo. That's nice. This is actually, in real life, this is actually not that bad of an area, but it, it's literally this big. Like, it's one hallway, and it's this big, and nothing like it exists anywhere else. This place is awful. This is like where drunkards, like, throw up. Just by the way. This is where you get, like, all of this is bars. Like, there's a Pizza Express right there. It's like, this is the- you, you get drunk food, then you throw up here. 
And then, like, this is where people walk about doing drugs and smoking and shit. This fucking building. And then that's that's it. That's what Birmingham has to offer. Whoa. Over Road damage to Birmingham with the Netherlands. How are you shit. doing? Good to see you found someone okay. special. If you were gonna... Oh, thank you. That's really sweet, actually. If you were gonna rank... Uh, what's it called? If you were gonna rank... Amsterdam versus Rotterdam on a scale. Like, 0 to 10. Amsterdam is something. War Rotterdam is what? You know what I mean? For people that live there. Yeah, that's some class. Okay. <laughs> the Dutch in my Twitch chat? What's the prediction going on right now? Rotterdam just... Wait, Rotterdam just looks good, but it's awful. Oh, shit. Amsterdam 6, Rotterdam 5. Amsterdam 4, Rotterdam 6. Wait, why don't people like Rotterdam? Why don't people like Amsterdam? Amsterdam 6, Rotterdam... Okay, if you're ranking Amsterdam as a 6... From what I saw, Amsterdam is a 6, dude. That's nuts. Because Amsterdam is maybe one of my favorite places <laughs> I've visited. Too touristy? I'd agree with that. But, like, there's a bunch of shit to do. And it's also, everyone rides bikes everywhere and it's really, everyone's, like, happy. Too much tourism? Maybe. But everyone's so happy. Which is not something you get anywhere in England. I don't even, no one in, no one anywhere in England's happy. And... <sighs> I'm trying to think of a city. Like, can you think of a happy place in England? Like, somewhere you go to have fun? Like, genuinely. <laughs> can you think of a, a, an actual Brighton? Eh. Amsterdam in winter eh. is dead to you. Brighton's nice. Uh, Brighton's one of my... Brighton's probably my favorite place in England. Hold on. Brighton... I do want to make one thing. Like... I do want to make one thing. I want to go onto, like, Google Maps to see this. Uh, Brighton's just a little bit scuffed. Kind of everywhere. Rotterdam was leveled in World War II. It lost its soul after being rebuilt. Uh, well, so did London, you know? Like, everything got bombed in World War II, besides Brighton. And Brighton's scuffed as hell. But it's nice. It's, it's, it's cutesy. I want to see a photo of, of Brighton that's not, like, only in sunshine and a professional camera. Because things don't look like this. Like, I was trying to find just a picture of the city centre. This is what it's like in sunlight and everyone dressing all happy and, and stuff. But this is just a bunch... Right now, if you went right this second, this is just a bunch of, like, people vaping and smoking weed and yeah, being no. vaguely if threatening. If I had a nickel for every time I watch your stream while drinking boba tea, this, I'd have two nickels, which isn't great. much, but it's weird it happened twice. Also, Amaranth is streaming now, and looks mighty hot, so you best step your game soon. Fuck. Should I do makeup? Shall I try? Shall I try, chat? Shall I put on a Nottingham show? Nottingham Warhammer World is the happiest place on Earth. Oh, God. Hold on. What else do we have? Bristol isn't bad. Good environment. I've heard... I've met people from Bristol. They seem relatively happy. Sometimes. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I got a DM on, on Discord that says, I'm not kidding when I say this. Don't stay in Rotterdam if you're going. Stay somewhere else and travel by train. Rotterdam is pretty much only high-rises and not a nice place to be. Fuck! Why did TwitchCon choose here? I mean, they did choose Paris in the middle of the fucking riots. <laughs> so, I swear to God, TwitchCon is just doing shit dirty. They, they had a good one. They had Amsterdam in the EU after COVID. They had what was the one before COVID? Shit, what was the one? What was the TwitchCon before COVID? I don't think I'd ever been before. Or did I go to before? Oh no, I did. It was where the fuck was that before? It was. Uh, no, it was Amsterdam. Oh yeah, shit. I'm sorry. It was Amsterdam. Wait, no, Berlin. Was it Berlin? I don't know what the fuck it was. <laughs> I don't think I went. I'm not sure. I don't remember. <laughs> Trying to cut costs by hosting in famous places, so everyone secretly hates. Yeah, that's what I mean. They're trying to cut down on how big the venue needs to be. <laughs> Thoughts on Bournemouth and Southampton. As a native southerner who went to uni in Coventry, I do not envy you living in Birmingham. Yeah, it sucks. 
Birmingham has a good uni. Yeah, it has two. We have like, Birmingham has two good universities, so we get like, one actually kind of cool thing about Birmingham, if you like fashion, there's a bunch of like exchange students, or not exchange students, like uh, foreign students that come here, and they, dude, they dress so fucking well. What the fuck, dude? That like a bunch of like foreign students, international students, they come here and they just mug us, dude. <laughs> Just start using four gen terms. They just absolutely. It's your early onset they look so fucking good. I don't know where they get con. their fits from, Open but they go hard. Smile. Also, I've been I've been doing this thing. I went to go see when I was I, so I stayed in Brighton for a little bit. And I went to go see um, Wilbur Suit because I think he's moving. I went briefly to go see Will for like an hour. If you guys know who Wilbur Suit is, he's uh, I can say whatever I want. He, there's no way he'll see this. Uh, he's this dude. He's a, he's like a, he's a, he's a musician and YouTuber and fuck, well, I think he's just a musician, but he's streamer, YouTuber, one of the, one of the just very, very big thing. I went to go to his house. It was, it was really lovely. I got a, he got me a cup of tea. He was a nice guy. And, um, but as soon as I, like, Wilbur, one of the best people that I've met Over from doing YouTube, one of the nicest people I've ever met. And so, but I got to his, I got to his house and I got out the Uber and I just went, what's up, man? And he went like, you're American. What? You're American. You're, like, pronouncing your R's. Do you want a glass of water? Like, do I sound that American? Do you some people? Yeah. Do I sound that American, dude? Surely not. How? I don't... I'm getting to the point now. I talked about it in a car. Well, like... I said, do you think I could get... Okay, I need your opinion. Yes? Jesus. Okay, I need your opinion. From... Either British people or Americans, actually. You sound like schlatt. Don't ever fucking tell me that ever again. Ban that guy. Mods, kill that guy. Uh, zealous Crow, ban him. I want him gone. Forever thinking that. I went, <laughs> I went, I'm, I'm trying to see if I can get away. You don't sound remotely American. Hear me out here. Hold on. Yes, you're turning into a colonial. Oh, Open mouth smile. Hear me out here. Do you think I could get away with saying that I'm an American that's lived in England for like a decade. Like, do you think I could get away with saying like, well, okay, here's my thing. I'm not saying, I'm not gonna say like, okay, half of you are saying yes, half of you are saying no. I'm not trying to, I'm not gonna go to people and say like, yo, I'm from Minnesota. No one's gonna believe that. But like, could I, could I tell a British person that doesn't know shit about American accents that I'm from like, like DC? Like, no one knows what a fucking D.C. accent, what, what fucking something, Washington, D.C. accent sounds like. No one knows what that is. It just sounds, it's vaguely American. Correct. Your open mouth smile. <laughs> I couldn't say I'm from Texas or California, because so, people know what that sounds like. No one knows what someone from D.C. sounds like. No one. Like, if you didn't say water, uh, oh, hold on. If you didn't say water, wait, no, yeah, water. If I, well, listen, if I... <laughs> <laughs> At least you don't sound Australian. Australian's a good accent. I'd, I'd, I'd be alright with sounding uh, Australian. But then, it's less cool than American. So you're from New England. <laughs> DC is a single city and no one is actually from there. That's what I mean! No, 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 no. It's more that you sound like a Brit who has lived in the US for too long, That's less rather cool. than the other way around. That's less cool. That's like a being a traitor. I would say, if you're from America, and then you move to England, like, it's gotta be, you can't have gone back, you know? Because then it sounds lame, which is exactly what actually happened, but that sounds way lamer. What I should say is, I'm from America, and make up a whole new backstory. If I'm a stupid idiot, I'm a stupid idiot from the UK, if you told me you're American, I'd probably be like, yeah, sure. Yeah! I could make up a whole new life. I could just bullshit. Your accent puts the trans in transatlantic. Pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> Is it just me or does Finn look more gay than usual? Okay, man. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, is that bad? I, I mean, my skin's doing pretty well. You know? I got good skincare recently. You know? Hold on. Wait. Besides, like, one spot right fucking there that's annoying me, but. Sup? 
Wash your hair. I sh I washed it yesterday. It's just not brushed. No one knows how to spot washed hair. I swear to God. Oh my God. Fine. I'm just, let me watch this. Look. See. Look how, <laughs> look how nice my hair can be if I if I try at all. One minute. I need to like actually. I don't know if I'm making this better. <laughs> Fins are us. Hey. Yeah, no. More than you being a boy, I have a hard time remembering your British. Really? Because people used to bitch about my British accent that they didn't like it. And then people used to... And now people bitch about how I've got a strange half American... Like I'm trying to be American for some reason. Hold on, let me wet this sponge. I gotta be able to do makeup. Call I, me. No, no, I can't do it without my sponge being wet. Thirty-four months. Not quite sure how this happened, lol. Sorry, chat. I'm back. I had to give my wife a kiss. <laughs> ah. <sighs> Look at the camera straight. Sorry. Thought you were looking a little gay. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hold on. Let me do... Where are you? I've lost all my shit. I think doing my makeup every day genuinely got to me a little bit, chat. Like... When I got back from um, from that work trip, from doing like shoots and stuff all the time, I woke up in the morning at like half seven and then just went like, oh, I've, I have a routine to follow now. I put the pup, I did the puppy thing. As soon as I got back, puppy out, hey, do his thing. Months. And I went like back up. I immediately like unzipped my suitcase to get like clothes for the day. Didn't you come out as ace this week? I don't know why the fuck people thought that was like a coming out. I have said that I'm ace. <laughs> I've said like, oh, I just don't really. I think I've said like, oh, I don't have much of a sex drive, and then just like, ah, I'm a bit you ace. You can never look more That's gay or it. less gay because your peak hot slash grim slash dork and such beauty is beyond any of the original five genders that were in Plato's Symposium. Holy oh, shit! I can talk like okay. I guess I can talk about that kind of openly. I don't really care about that. Like um, you know, there was oh, fucking god relatable what. I just don't really like how OF went ice. I know, right? Isn't it fun? <laughs> like, I, it's not like... Okay, so I think people kind of misunderstand the concept of being ice. I just don't really have an interest in, like, the thing. You know what I mean? Like, it's a spectrum. Yeah. I, I just don't really have, like... I don't really care about fucking anyone. You know what I mean? This just doesn't really appeal. You know what I mean? I think anyone. So, I don't know. But you still have, like, brain. You still got a brain. You can still have fantasies and shit. So I kind of just go based on, like, for OF, just stuff that I like. You know? Stuff that I'd like to see. Um. But, like, I'm not thinking, Congrats like, Congrats on officially joining the Alphabet Gang X King F1NN, the one letter people least expected for you. <laughs> yeah, right? I don't think that's really a big deal. I guess it's not, right? Like, I just don't really care. Um, yeah. How's Ashley? Ashley's great. <laughs> Ashley's like, I mean, I guess there is like a thing there, but you know, I still do my thing. Just I don't want to get really intimate bread. about it. Now my stuff, house smells amazing. You know I mean? How are you doing F1 and then? I bake cookies. That ship smells better. But like, <laughs> I'm also ice. Hell yeah. Nice. I'm just, I just don't really like, it's a weird identity to have. I don't know. I don't really feel like it's part of um, like me as a as a being. I just don't really care. <laughs> like it's more. It's like you know, like uh, atheists and shit. <laughs> like, well, it's not like a belief system. It's just I I don't do a thing that other people do. It's kind of that. I just don't. 
you guys all drink coffee and I don't, you know, <laughs> that's it. I just don't really, I just don't really care. And I can drink coffee. It's just not like I'm not fucking hankering to drink coffee. <laughs> you know? I don't know, I never really th thought about it as a big deal. Like, I've seen tons of creators just say like, ah, oh, you know, my sex drive's nothing crazy. You know? Like, like I'm like, I don't know, I'm like everyone else, really. Just, well, just less. <laughs> Super Bowl Sunday. We drink monster. Bro. I didn't realize how hard Americans go on Super Bowl until, like, I started scrolling through either Ashley's reels, like, her showing me her reels on her phone, or I scroll through TikTok, and then, like, Explore life. Sure. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> is it is it weird to have an identity on the thing and just like I don't care. I don't. It's like I don't like it. It's not a thing that's especially interesting or worth talking about. It's just it's it's a thing. I don't know. There's like I just don't give a fuck about it. I'm also five ten. It affects my life by airplane hey, seats. I, I heard know. you enable biscuits to access websites. Also, does your computer run on micro crisps, Lamal? Jokes fuck? aside, do you eat chocolate crisp biscuits? I don't know what the fuck is going on with that. Eh? Makes sense, not weird. Eh, those Americans making a national holiday. I just started scrolling through and seeing people's, like, the food that they're making. Damn. It's nice that you guys have, like, a... a <laughs> it's nice that you guys have just a day where you can go hard. On, on everything. You know? What are people that don't like football doing on Super Bowl Day? Or are there people that don't like football in America? Probably not. <laughs> my bed caught you. on fire oh, last night because my charging cable shorted out, Lamal. My bed How are you on... doing today, Mommy Finter? My bed caught on fire last night because I'm a member of the of the the A in the LGBT blah blah blah. <laughs> That's why my bed caught on fire. Am I right, fellas? I didn't realize that was a thing that you had to come out about. Was I supposed to come out? <laughs> was I supposed to tell people? Was that a thing? At what point do I go like, yo, I don't want it. <laughs> Guys, I got this really big thing to tell you. I don't feel like fucking. <laughs> hey Finn, it took me what's years the, to figure out point? that I'm a little weird compared to other people with okay. the ace slash to me spectrum. I'm way more weird about it than you, but the people around you are the ones who will find it much more significant. Okay. okay, back to cooking. Yeah, I guess it's like, I guess so. It's hard to explain like, I don't know. Thanks for all the nice streams and videos. Helped me quite a lot in the past. Give Tank a pet from me, Carrot. He, uh, uh, yeah. Tank gets pets all the time. I'll dedicate one of them to each of you. One of the 2,400 I will give today, probably. <laughs> no definitions are normal. This is normal. I guess. I mean, like, I guess not normal. Like, it is, by definition, rarer than, you know, well, you know, it's, it's abnormal. But, like, I don't know. It's, like, never, like... I get the thing, like, if you're gay or something. I think the ace thing surprised sure. us because oh, we took it for granted that you're a pillow princess. <laughs> I didn't say I don't do anything. I just say I don't really care. Like, I just, I mean, I'm more like a fantasy type of, type of guy than, than real. <laughs> we usually watch the puppy bowl if we don't watch the super bowl. <laughs> Me too. Me too, gamer. He's just eating it. But yeah. Gaming would be the word. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Um. <laughs> it's kind of just. I don't know how Super to talk Bowl about it. Like, it's more about the food and drinks and halftime show than actual football. It's it's like a national yeah. holiday here. Do you? Is it like? Is it? It's the World Cup, right? That's kind of the thing. But it's only America. Is it like all of the teams in America that play? I'm probably asking the wrong crowd because you're all here and not there. <laughs> I'm guessing someone's going to Google it before I do. 
I know what I also know I have streamed on the Super Bowl before and I asked the same questions. I learned nothing. If you tell me this now, I will forget. I don't know. More like two football teams going in. Oh, is it two? Oh, so it's not very long. Fantasy, huh? Go on. <laughs> See, that's more interesting to talk about. <laughs> See, that that's more interesting to talk about, which is why I won't do it. <laughs> if you want to... Hey, listen. Oh, he's, he's ace, but he has an OnlyFans. I wonder what the fucking fantasies are. <laughs> yeah, shit. Not a very hard line of reasoning, is it? <laughs> when you think about it. How is Tank settling in? Oh, he settled in within an hour. Like, it, it, in the home? Tank was, Tank, this was Tank's new home within the hour as he got back. I think it took, like, three days for him to learn he's, like, chill with everything. Like, he's just fine. But, like, really, he was great in the first hour. He was a bit reserved then, but that's it. Tank's sleepy. Tank's a sleepy boy. Oop, shit. Ooh. Hold on. I'm doing big things. Babe, do you want a drink? I have a Fanta, but I'd be down to try a decanted Fanta with vodka. I don't know why, but the word decanted has become an inside joke. <laughs> Rip to makeup. I'm supposed to replace this thing, aren't I? Okay, chat. How how long is it normal to have... Um, I had pizza yesterday. How... How uh, normal is it? How long are you supposed to have something like that for? <laughs> you don't hyper decant? It ages your wine 10 years? What the fuck is that? You need to replace the blue chair. Finn's oh, once dude. again breaking the boundaries of sexuality. No one thought an asexual what? chaser could exist until he came along. Bro. Bro. Okay. <laughs> Ace chaser. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Bro. Okay, it was good, man. That was good. Well done. Just inventing new things to label Finn. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Can I tell you about the Reddit thing then? Do you want to know about the Reddit thing? I, I felt like that one wasn't that bad. I started posting. I was like, well, I'm doing all these shoots and I'm on a bit of a work thing. And I don't usually do this, but I'll post a bit more to Reddit. I'll get that karma score up. And motherfucker, I was the fucking top of r slash femboys for that one post that I made and get this fucking r slash I've never been a top for anything and r slash femboys is not the fucking place to have a top in but I was number one top of today me fucking eight or nine thousand upvotes BAM there was <laughs> there was <laughs> look it went well and but the thing F1 was and then, oh yeah? I don't get why people are surprised but I don't ever have expectations of someone being sishit as a default anyways. People are people, and there's so very many ways to form connections. I'm a sloat, but also had times where I didn't w want any. Yeah. I mean, I guess I do assume people are just cis and straight, because it's whenever I do talk to people, they're most likely cis and straight. But, eh. Today is Super Bowls. It is. Hey, Spin, will you go to TwitchCon EU this year? Damn right. Basso flop. I'll go every time. I'll go every time. And they're like, but yeah, I went to go post on all, I went to go post on all these subreddits. If you're so curious, yes, I posted on, I posted on the one that's a slur, and I posted on the r slash femboys, and I posted on r slash, and then, uh, <laughs> and, and then nowhere else, and then like, so, I posted there, and then I posted, you know, and it worked. And I posted again, and I started getting messages on Twitter that was saying, uh, 
<laughs> she posted it on Twitter. So I got a message on Twitter that was like, hey, it was someone that did a lot of promo on Reddit. Like, the, another, like, sex worker type of thing. And then I went like, oh, yo, uh, what's, uh, someone's saying people are stealing your shit. And posted it on Reddit. What's your Reddit account again? And I sent him my Reddit account. He went like, oh, okay, all good. And, um, and then the next day I woke up banned on Reddit. Um, because people had reported my posts for being unconsensual photos of me. So I said, <laughs> you can appeal the subreddit thing. You can appeal the Reddit ban. And I was, um, inebriated at the time. And all I wrote in the, in the ban appeal was just, I think my exact words were something along the lines of like, uh, I was banned for impersonation, but these photos are all of me. I consent to posting photos of me that I took. The photos are of me. I can send you my ID. Um, the I consent. My, my my I. The photos are of me. And then I submitted that. It made no goddamn sense. Unbanned within like six hours. <laughs> Thank you, Reddit. <laughs> Didn't ask me for shit. Just unbanned. Nice. <laughs> so I guess you know they they do some good stuff every now and then. I do need actually to dry shampoo. I need to put dry shampoo on like the sides of my hair. Shit. <laughs> the incoherence proved it was you. Man, yeah, maybe. <laughs> the Reddit mod knew me. The Reddit admin knew me. Are you inebriated now? No. I did ask for a vodka though, but I don't think I'm gonna get one because um, I think Ashley's making, like she said like, do you want a drink? And I said like, yeah, I'll have a vodka and <laughs> a vodka and banter. That'd be awesome. I haven't tried that yet. And she went like, I'm, I'm I mean like tea. <laughs> I'll take the. Oh my god. Of course, a red admin knows you, I doubt. Dude, there's so. Oh, I am like. Whenever people recognize me, it's like third hand. Like, I'm never the guy. I, I barely get. Like, okay. When I get recognized, I don't even get. I don't get recognized. Other w people recognize me from other people. Like, I always have friends that are like, yo! Uh, this person that like is you'd re that I would want to meet is you know is a really big fan of you. Hold on. Yeah. You know, because lots of audience live outside because lots of your audience live outside the UK. No, I mean like in the UK, like um like. I guess. But I don't, I don't get, like, recognized in London or Brighton or something. I get recognized in Birmingham, which is strange. <laughs> I recognize him as Spencer. Did a guy... Did a guy ask Mr. Beast to take your pic? No, they asked, uh, Chris to take a picture in front of Mr. Beast. <laughs> like, we were in a Mr. Beast shoot, and the guy came up. F1 and then And, uh, really nice guy. And, like, he came up... He walked past everyone. This giant fucking shoot. Mr. Beast is there, Chris is there, or like, I don't know if who was there specifically, like, down the road that he walked past, but like, you know, Chandler's there, no, uh, Nolan, uh, uh, fucking, oh my god, Carl Jacobs, like, all these people, and he just walked and he went like, oh, can I get your photo? And I didn't even think, I just didn't talk, and I just went like, you know, I, I looked over at Chris, and then the guy that asked for the photo looked at me, and I went, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay sure, and then he asked Chris to take the photo. Like, so she was sitting there taking the photo of me with this guy. And I, I was so amused. I, while we were taking the photo, I'm laughing my ass off. Because I'm like, I'm never letting this go. I'm going to talk about this for the rest of your life. <laughs> because it's... We're in fucking Japan. <laughs> Who the fuck would recognize me from there? Like, there are, like, international celebrities. And I'm just fucking me. I, that's the most un... That's... That's... I... I... If I had access to the lottery at that point in time, I'd have bought a lottery ticket. There's no way. Like, <laughs> Japan loves its feminine boys. Oh yeah, the guy did tell me like, oh, you can get a good pair of cat ears over in God knows where. I forgot where he said, but. Hello. Hello. Oh, I think that means like, a delivery is here. One sec. Oh, fuck. Go. Ah. Oh, God. I didn't think she put the vodka in the tea. Christ. 
<laughs> Holy shit, no vodka. Oh no, this is... You know the water that they put into tea? No, 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 no. Are you sure you mentioned the correct sub? The top of all time there is something with a monster can. Not in all time. <laughs> no, 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 not, not all time. Just for that, like, day. And then I was, like, number two for the week or something like that, or number three. Something cool. I was I was impressed. I've never been, like, the top of, like, one like a big subreddit. That's got, like, a million people on it. That's pretty cool. Being, like, number one for the day. That's sick. Ashley posted the next day. Immediately got three times more upvotes than me, though. So, you know, clearly I have my place. <laughs> I know my place in this relationship. <laughs> When's, when next drunk stream? I don't. Uh, I don't really plan on getting drunk anytime soon. Alcohol is bad for your skin. Um. But if I had, <laughs> but if I had to say. Oh shit. You're top of all time on, egg IRL, aren't you? I'm top. I know I'm top of all time on r slash uh, cross dressing or cross dresses. I don't know which one it is. And, oh, Jesus. And then, um... Oh, fuck. Which one? Can someone link me that subreddit? Yes, you are. Am I real? Oh, yay. I'm still number one. Hey, guy, RL. Hell yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> People have really changed from talking about me like that. Have you noticed there's been a subtle shift... When people talk about me, and when you talk about me, by the way, I call this battle of all not for just for skin. Well, yeah, but you know, there was th there's this there's been this change that I've noticed recently, and it's used to be like Finn's such an egg. That's an egg moment of Finn to to say that or to do that type of thing. And now no one does that. What they do instead is they they say like it's changed from like. Oh yeah, Finn's Finn's like Finn might be an egg, dude. That's that's crazy. And then um now it's just like he's said you know, listen, if he's saying he's cis, we've gotta respect it. You know, it, it changed from like it changed from like, yo, he might be to like We gotta we gotta go by what he says, I guess. You know? Like uh, <laughs> we gotta guess we gotta listen. <laughs> you know, like, it was, oh my god. Oh, hold on. Let's find out. Thank you, Stov. <laughs> oh, wait. What? Top of, oh, maybe, top of all time. <laughs> Still fucking there. I'm on, I'm, I think I'm also, like, a few down, right? Or actually, I might have been taken over. Oh, there's more. There's more. Okay, fuck it. There you go. This used to be a bit higher, I think. But, yeah. Not bad. Not bad. I'm getting there. <laughs> Mutual respect, my man. Yeah, no, it, it's not. I st actually yelled at us until we stopped. Was that was that Ashley doing that? I wonder. Was that an effect of Ashley? Hmm. That's interesting. I don't know. I think I thought it was just because people just like people just settled into the idea of like this fucker's on HRT. I know. <laughs> you know, like this dude. <laughs> fucking Vosh, <laughs> you know? They were just like, ah! If he says no, he's not, you know? <laughs> but. Anyway. Hey, it looks great. Oh, don't say that. I know you're doing it in a mocking way. I'll, uh, I'm gonna grab, like, dry shampoo. Oh, wait, no, I have, like, some right here. But I have new dry shampoo. Wait, hold on. Okay, let me try this, and if it looks like shit, it looks like shit. Whoa! <laughs> what the fuck? This one's new shit. Okay. Go. Yeah. Alright, hold on, chat. I'm dyeing my hair white. One minute. Alright. I'm going for Reed Richards. What's it like? How we doing? Yeah. Hold on, can I be like old now? You know, back back in my day. The the the, the Back in my day, they were called femboys, and now they're uh, bottoms or whatever. <laughs> Back in my day, they were just called twinks. <laughs> Good. You need a shout. I shouted yes, motherfucker. 
I did my fucking everything shower yesterday. That's not, that's not true. But I washed my hair. I didn't do the, like, I didn't shave, but... Meh. <laughs> I have more gray than that. I have genuinely gray hair. I have actually genuinely gray hair, and I don't- I think it happened when I was, like, 17 or something like that. Like, I started getting gray hair- no, I started getting gray hair when I was, like, gray hair when I was, like, 19 or 20. I think. But, eh. I sound like a few. I don't know how weird- oof, the stress. Yeah, my, like, <laughs> I got my- that's not unusual. Yeah, my- I got my blood work done, and they were- basically they just said, like, you need to drink more water. And whatever the fuck you're doing that's stressing you out, stop that. Because your albumin, whatever it is, levels are f fucking off the charts. So don't. And you know. <laughs> Wait. Grey hair can happen in spots if you hit your head. Really? Oh, shit. It did always pop up when my parents dropped me. Shit. Just all in one patch. A few patches. Same, I'm 22 and I've also already have white hairs, because of all the uni stress. I've got no reason to be stressed. Like, if you- if you go- well, but if you go through my life on a- on a- on a broad scale, you know what I mean? Like, oh, he dropped out of- he dropped out of school, uh, did- like, played a video game for a living, and then he dresses up like a girl now, and like, that's what he does, and it's- and he's, you know, whatever, successful, got a nice fucking girlfriend, you know, she's awesome, and um, Got a poppy, pretty cool. And then, <laughs> you know, I have white eyelashes. I have some white eyelashes? Really? Holy shit. Taxes can be stressful. Taxes are the fucking worst, but they're the easiest thing in my The way my, okay. The way that like adulthood worked for me was, I, when I started like actually working and you know, when I was, you know, doing the adult thing. You know, I had a ta I had a fucking- I have an ISA, you know? Shit like that. Basically a 401k, I don't know what the difference is. Or an IRA, or a Roth IRA, I don't know what they are in America, but... I have one of those government back for- you know, the, when you're- when you're doing that. Like... The only thing that I really thought about was like, dude, I listen to my parents bitch about how many emails they've got to answer. And that's the fucking easiest shit ever. <laughs> like, it was just a constant thing of like, Oh man, I've got like, I've got so many emails to write back and they're fucking, ah, and it, oh, it sucked. That's the, that's, dude, you can listen to music. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Well, write emails. It's just saying yes or no to people or figuring out little problems and then getting back to people and shit. That's the easiest part of my day. I don't know how that was stressing everyone out or I don't know how that was a thing that was like, Pitch to me is like the worst thing ever. Oh, it's so bad. It, that's the highlight. <laughs> that's so good. In the 90s, you get one a day. Now it's like 25. Dude, even still. Oh. Dude, that that dude. The emails I get is like whether you're gonna fucking live or die type of thing, and I'm finding them fine. <laughs> it's easy for older people. Emails are easy for me. Depends on what emails about, I guess. But like. I don't know. They're like simple. Everything is pretty easy. They only complain about emails. Like, it's it, if if it's not the email sake, then you'd say like, dude, Cheryl at the office just fucking offed someone. Like, we need to like go through this whole police investigation. Like, we gotta all this. You'd say that. You wouldn't say like, dude, I just got this. Cr dude, I'm so stressed out about all these emails. <laughs> you'd be like, no, you talk about the shit that's bigger deal than the emails. Emails are much easier than talking to humans. Yeah! You don't have to look at anyone. You don't have to talk- Like, dude, I'm- My job now is answering emails, pretty much. I'm just looking at- I'm just looking at chat and making jokes. <laughs> makeup done? No. Oh, is there a bet on when I get my makeup done? Is that something that no one's told me? Uh-oh. Don't worry, though. I'm so- I'm so good at doing makeup now, because I've been- I've got a rhythm. Bet ends in 30 minutes. You're fucked. There are, like, two things to do. <laughs> How long did it take for you to respond to my battle pass message? I just got called a bitch. In my defense, I, they bitched about like, you know, what was it, 20 emails a day? It's a couple hundred <laughs> on, on like, the, not like just the battle pass, like just the battle pass is a couple hundred, right? So, you know, a day. And, you know, I can respond informally, which is nice. But there was like a, I think like 
about five or six thousand, like to go through when when I when I started going through them, it was about five or six thousand, and got it done in a, I got it. We got it done in like fuck a month less. Like the office job done. wasn't that bad looking back compared nice to, to now, where income people. depends on sketchy internet hobbies. The yeah. sense of long term financial security is way less comfy and one hundred times harder to explain when asked really weird it's not like paycheck to paycheck or anything but it's like at any moment the paychecks can end <laughs> you know f1 and then cow jam like internet jobs are very weird it's why like i started doing this thing that you know this is gonna sound like an ad read or like a pitch to join to join my team but i started doing this thing which has been really helpful and can someone please tell me why not, like, everyone on Earth does this? Okay. I figured out that, basically, if I've signed someone up on a contract to work for me, to work with me, for six months, a year, whatever it is. Like, I'm committed to paying that person for the year, right? So, I just started telling everyone, like, hey, if you've got any, like, debt to settle, because that just adds up over time, or, like, you've got, like, some reason you want to fix your car up or fix a, ho a, a leaky roof, I just say, like, hey, you can just ask me for the money up front. Like, I'll just give you, like, a few months of sal- Well, I can give you your fucking whole year up front. And it affects me zero. It really doesn't matter. Because it's- I'm already committed to paying that. I don't know why people just don't do that all the time. I guess it's because, like, lack of liquid capital, I guess? But I only have, like, a few people. True LeBrolic weapon? I shouldn't get credit for that. That really doesn't change my life in any way. It really doesn't. <sighs> like... Something we did... I don't want to say for who, but something we did um, with someone, they were moving. And I basically just said, like, what's your rent? And then we had, hey, boss, can I have this debt, a credit card? <laughs> Wait, yeah, JK, I don't. You can fucking ask for whatever. Dude, I don't care if you have a good reason. Just, you can ask. I genuinely don't care if you have a reason. Whatever is left on your contract, you can all just pay that out. I really don't mind. It's my only worry with stuff like that is how people handle. The There's another top post on like that guy IRL that combines you and Henry Cavill, and that seems like oh, a yeah. totally reasonable pairing. The one that's like the two types of guy I want to be. <laughs> I've seen that one. I want to be either Henry Cavill or Internet Twink. I get it. I get it. Me too. <laughs> Liquidity loss is opportunity loss. That's fair. Yeah, I guess. It's just like, I don't do fuck all, dude. I wish. I think I just don't do as much with, uh, with my money. Because it's just sitting in a business account. You know? And that doesn't gain you much. Um, I think I pay for it to be sitting there, so. Eh, I'm just losing money to fucking whatever. I get that this is the the complete opposite of, like, Femboy Finance, because it's the absolute wrong thing to do. But, um, because I'm just losing money. But, you're losing to inflation. I don't know. Don't worry. I do get what I'm doing. Um, the only thing is put into government bonds. I don't think the UK has that same sort of system. Like, I have maxing out everything I can, but the other thing was, like, I'm doing up the house. So, what I've been doing... 20% inflation? Jesus. When I'm like, when I'm doing uh, all this stuff and there's a bunch of expenses that I know are coming and also my tax bills do, I didn't want to like forward any money out of the account just in case. And I didn't want to go through the setup because what happens when you start like talking to these like fucking banks or savings accounts? So they say like, okay, well, how much do you want to deposit? And I go, I don't fucking know. I don't know how much money I have, man. <laughs> like, and so I need an answer for my fucking account. I don't know. High yield savings account, you get 5% return. Yeah, about that. I think... The best I I ever got was gen was about six point two percent, but I don't know why is this kind of boring. I think it will tell you to put money into fucking pensions, man. I'm not gonna be here at fifty five. I'm gonna be. I'll, I'm gonna. Oh, I wonder if I should. I'm gonna like go out in like a like a scuba diving incident or something like. That. I'm gonna be eaten by a shark. That's how I'm going to- I'm going to be eaten by a shark at the age of 47. Clip it. <laughs> That's how I'm going out. I'm not going to make it a 55 when my fucking pension caps in. It's hard to imagine being 
over twice as old as you currently are, you know? Like, if you take your age in chat right now, like, all the years that you've ever lived, and then imagine that times two plus a decade, I can't imagine that, man. You know? I can't imagine that, like, that much time passing. Very Zoomer, but... Zoomer brain thing to think, but... Uh, seems like a bit of a meme. <laughs> I'm gonna live forever. I don't see the point. Oh my god! You guys are distracting me from my eyebrows. I'm fucking. I've goofed these so bad. I think I just didn't plug my eyebrows very well. Hold on, chat. Technically, forty-seven wouldn't be twice your current age. I said 55. What? 47 wouldn't be twice your current age? I, I know. But you need- but I need to be- what's it called? It's 55, right? It's 55 plus a decade, which is- oh sorry, 55 is the number, so 46 plus 10 years, pretty much. That's what twice my age is, plus 10. It's hard to fathom. It's just like a lot of time. Hang on. At least try to make it 69, just for fun. <laughs> I'm- I'm gone at 69. Hey. What the fuck? Hold on. I gotta move this camera out the way. Oh shit, hold on. Ugh, I didn't read- oh. There's so much shit here. God damn it. Wait, can I just take this camera off the mount? So I can actually read that dono. There we go. You can probably just sit there. Yeah, right by the fire. Yo, Finn. Hold on, fuck it. I'm gonna replay it for fun. I'm gonna read it from there. Yo, Finn. I'm a six foot Finn boy. How do I be shorter? Or look good being tall? Because my shoulders are also wide as fuck. Born to be a muscle man. Want to be pretty Finn boy. I need some tips on getting dummy thicker ass. Please, King. There's no way to get shorter. Uh, being six foot is dope as hell. I'll give you th uh, like that's actually just kind of sick. It just means you're you're intimidating. Hey, so dress Gremlin, intimidating. It's you've fine. got six minutes left for the makeup and outfit. You want to dress in something? Outfit also, too. I've been dying to ask how was the outing with the outfit you talked about on Battle Pass, the glasses and baggy jeans. If you want to talk about it, of course. Wait, the outing and that. I just said that that's how I normally would dress. But did I go? What do you mean? Fuck, I'll, I'll go over that in a minute. But like, you can't you can't be shorter. Fuck, I don't have an outfit, chat. I'm not going to be able to get into an outfit in six minutes. I'm sorry. Prepare those bets. Ooh! Sorry, Buster. But, like... Hear me out. There's tons of, like... There's tons of cis women models that have wider shoulders or something like that. That's, like, you know... And it's a solid look. That's kind of it. You can be tall and have wide shoulders and still look really good. Like... I think the only thing that's hard about being taller is it's harder to do, like, dieting is a little bit harder. Sorry, dieting might be a bit easier, but putting on muscle mass is a lot harder. So, like, building an ass. Like, if you go and look at, like, hold on. If you go and look, I'm done with makeup, by the way. If you go and look at, like, let's say, uh, bodybuilder, six foot, bodybuilder, six foot, uh, winner. I don't know. Like, they're gonna look fucking crazy, right? These people look really great, right? They're 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 jacked out of their goddamn mind. But when you look at like a shorter bodybuilder, hold on, look at the fucking difference on on some of these people, right? You're not gonna see tons of them like side by side, but there's a absolute giant difference on like how easy, how fast, how much muscle mass you can put on. It's crazy shit. So a lot of the people that win these like Mr. Olympia titles and all that are actually a little bit on the shorter side because it's a bit easier to get to that shape. Or it's a bit e e more easy maintainable, you know? I'm 6'1", transition 30 years ago, just walk with confidence, you'll do fine. Yeah. Yeah. What's BMI? Huh? Fuck BMI. Without you and Ashley getting together, I wouldn't have found Icky Cord the best cord. Thank you both. Less protein to maintain it if you're short? Yeah. So, like, I. Why <laughs> people like, oh, I don't need that much muscle? 
I know you don't. <laughs> I'm just demonstrating it. It's a good. It's a good way of demonstrating that like you need less. Like it's a. It's a bit easier to put on. It's gonna be easier to build the cake, is what I'm saying. If you're on the shorter side, and a little bit harder if you're taller. That's kind of where it's at. So physique is a little bit harder to do. Well, you and Ashley getting together, I wouldn't have found a keyboard. Best call. Thank you both. The keyboard is actually pretty damn solid. I like it. But me, it's me six four and very much trying to be a trans woman. Yeah. What's what's trying to be a trans woman? If you're a trans woman, you're a trans woman. It's not. It's not a look. It's not like a, a an aesthetic or something like that. If you're a woman, you're a woman. Hold on. Uh, how do I spell this word? I don't know how much taller. Hold on. What's this? I don't know how much taller Abby is than me. She she's six foot. Abby's like a little bit taller than me, and she's just fine. No one ever reads her. She's you know, she's doing great. You know, you can easily be a taller woman. It's not like a, a thing. You just like Thanks. you just gotta act like a model. <laughs> you just have to walk into places like you own the fucking place. That's the difference. You never you you know that's it. Abby also wears insane heels. Yeah, she's taller than me most of the time we've ever met because you know she's fucking in four inch heels, so she's here. So <laughs> right now I'm building a Lego set and I'm almost double your age. Time will go fast and you might change less than you think. Abby's uh, the YouTuber. Oh, Abby's the person that runs the channel Philosophy Tube. Also, Ashley's Ashley's. I'd say arguably taller than me. I wouldn't say actually. I just think we have different eye heights. You know, like we we have different sizes of face, but like the top of our heads are the same, kind of nearly. Like she's Ashley's my height. You know, Ashley's pretty much my height, and Ashley's fucking beautiful. Ashley is the literally the the Ashley is genuinely. The most beautiful woman I've personally ever met. I am as tall as her. Kind of. <laughs> she wore like shoes with a bit of a heel on it today. And I took off my shoes and she was taller. And I had to go like that. <laughs> I think Ashley's like 5'10.3. We all know you're short and we still like you. My god, Uppies, bro, fuck you. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not short, I just, I wear, I don't wear heels. I wear shorter shoes than normal. There's a funny thing, by the way. So Barbie is, uh, I don't know how tall Barbie is, like 5'4 or something like that. I don't know, it's 5'2, God knows how tall Barbie is. But she wears those, like, you know those those shoes that they're flats, but they're, they've got a giant chunky heel on? She will put on those shoes to do photos with me. So, so she's... Near, she's not even close to my height. She's like five, six in those shoes. Like platform, yeah, she's wearing like platforms to take photos of me. <laughs> and still going like that, you know? You're a top four tallest fanboy streamers. Untrue. I've gotta be like top two. I think like one, one is taller than me. Even like, it's f Fanboy UK is going by she, her, right? Lily. I'm not the fanboy grind anymore. Oh my god. Thank you, I don't know any AFAB person who's my height, so it makes me feel self-conscious a lot. Glad to know tall women or a thing. Can I give you a tip? Go to, like, a populated city. Like, go to, like, London. Or some shit like that. Seven months, punk. I'll give you a thing that helped me a little bit. So, when I- I had to go to London to- in, like, a dress for a video. Um, it was like a little meme date with with a YouTuber friend of mine, a guy called Matt, who's who is by the way like six foot two or six three or something Hope like that. Hope you're tall. having a delightful day. Stay safe out there, Buster. You too. I am having a delightful day. And like, go to Amsterdam. Yeah, that's another good one. But like, if you go to a city like that where there's just a lot of people, you kind of end up seeing like, oh yeah, there's all sorts of I'm different types of people. I'm six feet tall. Transitioned about eighteen years ago, and look good. Being tall hides the greys too, but age doesn't matter, height hair. doesn't matter. Who someone is matters the most. I had a girlfriend taller than me and she was hot, and gave- She <laughs> gave chassis uppies too. <laughs> mm. Okay, let me show you this chat, the video in question. So I did this video, straight date, meet my boyfriend. In the hotel. So, oh my God. hold on, this is Nat. He texted me back. 
We're gonna go get drunk and we're gonna kiss. Very <laughs> oh my god, can we do a hide comparison real quick? This is a quick. You can kind of, you can see the difference, right? So like, there was a <laughs> you can see the difference in everything, but you know I'm still like a taller guy, especially when I'm presenting like feminine. You know, it's sometimes a little like it sometimes does give you a little bit of whoop, anxiety spike. You know, because like oh shit, what if someone fucking uh, uh. and then um <laughs> all right <laughs> and like I'm five ten and um what's it called? I'm five ten point two. What does it mean if my balls hang to my knees? You're old. I'd say like, um... Yup, Nat's a man. Jesus. Fuck you, Alex. <laughs> you little shit. Just cause he's taller than me, you little shit. Anyway. So that was- didn't he keep asking to kiss you? Yeah. Anyway. I don't know when people are flirting, apparently. Um... <laughs> no, so there was this like... I went to- I went to this coffee shop to pick up like, um... Drinks for people that I was shooting with. And um, like, on a different thing. And um... I, there was, there was just some girl that walked, this is just the one moment, by the way, but there was, like, uh, one girl that walked into the coffee shop next to me, and we were the same height, and she looked great, right? This was before I was dating Ashley, so, I'm, I'm allowed to say that a, a woman looked good before. Right now? No. Of course not, she's disgusting. I would vomit upon the memory of her. But, you know, it was nice to know that, like, oh, okay, you know, women, women are taller. In my little fucking town of Birmingham, where I, like, I look at the fucking ground or on my phone, and I don't look at other people, like, I'm just fucking, I'm in my own goddamn world, and the only way I'm ever pulled out of it is if someone says something to me, you know? Or, like, there was a loud noise. So, I, oh, I don't really notice, <laughs> I don't really notice that people are, like, you know, look good and are my height. <laughs> Nothing. Poor women are a dick. Hey, fuck yeah. Mel thank you for the five different subs, Melko. What the fuck? Nice to see you. I haven't seen you before. Hello, you new. Walked into a coffee shop. She obviously wasn't looking where she was going. <laughs> like, what? Oh my god. That was such a dumb joke. <laughs> Fucking hell. I think Taylor Swift is 5'11". Yeah. Uh. Oh! Oh my god. I saw Hunter Schaefer uh, playing with a, a ballad song. Uh, playing with a butterfly knife on, on a post on Twitter that was on my For You page. So, hey, Hunter, can you stop stealing my shit? Thanks. Jesus. Bitch. Fucking hell. Fucking stealing my brand. Yeah, my tea's getting cold. <clears throat> Good. Uh, <laughs> oh, tastes the same. <laughs> Hunter collab win. I'm just watching Euphoria, so she's, she's you know doing good there. I don't want to. I don't want to spoil anything. I'm still not done with it yet. Oh, Me and Ashley are drawing it out because it's a good show, and I, I apparently there's another season coming out at some point. I'm gone to the end of it yet. Ashley got you the lighter. She did. It's fucking dope, right? Oh, it's so hot too. Look at like just it. It makes a flame that goes out of frame on the camera. It's so big. I'm gonna lock it so it can't just turn on. <laughs> there's a season two. I'm on season two. I'm saying there's a, there might be another season after. I think they're filming it. I don't know. What does your tea look like? Tomato soup. It's like brown. It's a brown. Maybe the camera's just too saturated. <laughs> You still, that's not a <laughs> that's not a lighter. That's a Bunsen burner. Do you still play MC Hub? No. Um, no, it's not my thing. I've watched Euphoria six times already. It's a damn good show. <clears throat> it's a it's a it's a really well fucking shot show, and the acting's really good too. But I mean, the actor who played Fez unfortunately passed away last year. I know. I know. I got told that by Ashley like before I even started watching the show. I don't want- don't tell me about it though, sorry. I don't want to- I don't want to talk about Euphoria. I'm not- I'm not finished with it yet. I will not be spoiling. I will not be be spoiled. Absolutely not. Get out of my- get out of my life. Play Power Lord? I haven't. T belongs in the harbor. Fuck you, really. Mm. Power Lord looks really cool. I just don't- I'm just lame, man. I just don't play video games. You know what I like? Wii Tanks. That's a good game. Wii Tanks. Wii Tanks goes so hard. It's a little buggy right now, though. It's this game. This is the best fucking game. This is- this is- this this game is just a recreation. It's just a rip of, um, like, Wii Tanks, like, W-I-I, -I, like the console. And it's perfect. 
It's 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 such a perfect rip off of the game, and it's better. <laughs> it plays the exact same way, and you can play it on what mouse and keyboard. It's four K and one hundred and forty four hertz. Let's go! It's so good. <laughs> Fanboy aim trainer. Why are you looking at my why Why are you looking? I don't get why I don't get why you're looking at my games, bro. Fuck off. <laughs> don't I don't want to shut up, dude. Get out of here. I haven't installed it. Okay, it's not an installed game, but I got gifted it. <laughs> I got gifted it by Hitch, and um, I can't scroll. Like I, I there's no screen. This is. I looked on the stuff for it. I looked on the reviews, uh, but it's it's just porn. It's just fanboy. Porn. It's just naked fanboys. You know, I haven't I haven't played it. But now I feel like if I ever install that game, I can't. Oh my god, I can't play that on stream. It's porn. <laughs> it's a straight. That's a. That's that's a. Yeah, I can't play that game. <laughs> How did Hitch know about it? Hmm. How did you find out about Femboy Aim Trainer? I wonder. Oh, he linked me a knife. Hitch linked me a knife that he said he was gonna get. And now I'm I'm I feel like I have to judge it. The handle's cool. Is that real Damascus though? I've got to know. Japanese knife domestic steel. Okay. Okay. As long as it's not like... If it's real. That's pretty sweet, I guess. It doesn't list like what it's meant. Ah, there you go. Okay. VG10 core. That's actually a solid knife. Hell yeah. Looks nice. This is a good knife. I'm actually a little jealous. I like this knife. Goodbye, Hitch. Nice. Good purchase. 70 isn't that bad. It's a good knife. Fuck, I might get that. <laughs> Hey, how are you, Jinta? So good. Although I'm really not used to streaming, my fucking voice is gone. I can, I can tell. Subscribe to this Ace Chaser for two months now. Bro. Stop. Seems really cheap for a VG10 Damascus knife. Mm. No, not really. Oh, shit. Because Damascus steel isn't really anything interesting. Like... <laughs> Wait, Damascus Steel, I thought that technique was, was has been lost for centuries. No. <laughs> what the fuck? I haven't heard about that before. Have you seen the Kaiser Rocker? It's a little neck knife. I don't like neck knives. Because they're weird. You have to walk around with a knife on your, on your, on, in a necklace. Like, I don't know. Hey man, what's, what's up? How's things? You know, like, it's very clearly a knife, whenever it's a knife. So, like, and also, how is it easier to, like, even if you want to hide it, if you don't want to seem like a psychopath and you're, like, what's it called? You have the dwelling set? It is good. If you don't want to seem like a psycho and have it, like, a chain on your neck. Do I have a knife in here? I don't have a knife. But, like, you know, if you don't want to seem like a psycho and just have a knife, like, right here as you're chilling talking to someone, you gotta, like, tuck it in. You gotta do this, and then, like, then you can't see. But it's, and then, but, like, oh, shit, I'm in an altercation. I heard that if you stream more than once a month, your voice gets used to it. Sounds crazy to me, though. Stop. Stop. Finish with that knife. Not in this room. I don't know where... I moved all my knives to, like... I have a knife box now. I have a case. So, I don't have things to play around with here. I just started playing with lighters, because they're slightly safer. Weirdly. You could get a pocket knife. You just let... Oh my god, bro. Do people not know about my fucking knife f fanaticism? How is this news? How is this something people don't know about me? Dude, I own some fucking crazy knives. I own some th knives worth thousands. I have, my knives are on my fucking uh what's it called? My my insurance, you know? They're in my will. Put it like this, my knives are in my will, chat. I have some I have a, like some some solid watches, you know? No no okay, well I have like F1 and then smile but one, F1 and then smile. The two, knives F1 are more and then smile three, F1 and then heart, F1 and then cool heart, shit. F1 and then heart. Knife collection reveal? I'll do a knife collection review. I'll put it on YouTube. I'll do it. Are they legal? Yeah. You can't, but well, I wouldn't be able to get illegal. I wouldn't just. Hey, man, hey chat, yo! You wanna see this fucking gun I found? <laughs> 
Like, you wanna see- You wanna see this illegal thing? You wanna see this fucking, uh, minigun, dude, that I bought from the black market? It's this illegal thing. You're literally playing with fire. Yeah, but the fire is safer than a knife, sometimes. <laughs> Finn's organized enough to make a will. Yeah, but I'm not allowed to tell you who's on it, because then they might kill me, so. Best way to itch your balls, I need methods. I'd say get acrylic nails like these, because they're much better, like, scratching, you know? Hee <laughs> hee. Well, definitely. Isn't the UK trying to ban kitchen knives? You say that like it's news. It always is. They try to make kitchen knives only sold if they're blunt. And for people wondering, <coughs> yes, bullying Finn is part of the mod job description. You get tested on it in the interview process. Mm-hmm. Barbie, the mod, and now works with me as like my assistant, uh, bullies me all the time, constantly, but has a good like has a good uh, amount of normalcy to it. Like, you know, she's professional. She's normal, but you know, we'll slip in a fucking punch every now and then. <laughs> have you tried that? Have they tried that forever? Wait, what? They've tried that forever? Yeah. They tried to make a law where, in England, they tried to make a law that all kitchen knives had to be sold, like, rounded at the tip, so they, so you couldn't stab someone. I'm not, hold on. Uh, judge calls for kitchen knives to be blunted amid crime wave. So you're not allowed knives that can cut things. You're only allowed knives that are decorative. Uh, you can't... <laughs> Jesus. They're changing knife tips. Uh, releasing collections of knife tips with rounded tips to reduce crime related incidents. UK judge, uh, calls for a ban on pointed knives. So you won't be able to have knives that can cut into things. <laughs> It's not- you can- <laughs> Sounds like the dumbest thing ever. Yeah. There's like- It's- it's funny. Any tips on OF? I'm just starting it. Oh, that's new! Yeah, don't do it. Um, don't do it if you- hold on, alright, hear me out. I'd say my tips for if you want to start a battle pass is don't do it first. Do something else first. Like, didn't the UK have nunchucks banned? Didn't they? They do. They are banned. What people call Damascus now is just pattern welded. Old school Damascus required wood, steel, and actually form carbon nanotubes, and uh. banding of martensite and perlite. F1NN, I guess I'll apply next round for mod if I don't get VIP by. <laughs> by then. I could step someone with a pencil. Yeah, the UK is weird, but either way. UK bans sharp knives being sold. Knife sharpener sales would go up by 30 million percent. Yeah, I'll just like grab any piece of metal. Like, I don't know. It's stupid. It's stupid. It's amazing that someone can be educated enough to be a judge and go like, oh yeah, we should ban, uh, the f we should, we should make fucking, <laughs> uh, we should ban sharp knives. All knives should be scissors. But also scissors, the, the plastic ones, you know? No knives. I don't want metal, actually. I'm taking it back. Forks? Forks are pointy and scary. Screwdrivers? I don't want them. Ban them. I think all metal should be replaced with Carbon, no, with bent with plastic, but not sharp plastic. Like not plastic, like you could sh like fucking make a prison shink out of shiv shink shiv out of something that you can bend. You know, like how super glue sets and you can bend it like that. That should be what all metal is. Also glass. Glass should be also that type. You're allowed Play-Doh. The funny thing is a dull knife can be more dangerous than a sharp knife. Not if your goal is to hurt someone. <laughs> like, if your goal is to not accidentally hurt yourself and slip off the fucking apple you're cutting and accidentally fucking cut yourself because you're putting a lot of force into it, then yeah. But, you know, if I'm gonna... <laughs> if there's, you know... Ah, Jesus. All cutlery becomes cardboard straws. You have to use chopsticks. Yeah, we need to... No, but then you can have chop... Chopsticks are pointy. So, we can't have those. Mm. Well, that's killed the steel industry. Well, that's what we must do. You're answering an off question. Oh yeah, no one's ever asked me. I'd say that if you- sorry, I got distracted. If you want to start a battle pass, my advice is to straight up not do it. Like, don't have that be the first thing you do. Because I've seen so many people go fucking nuts. I have a thing with YouTube like that too. The first- if someone says like, yo, how do I start a YouTube channel? 
My point would be just don't for a bit. My point would be, look, my advice would just be don't do it. Start really small. Look at like, <laughs> no competition, got it. No, no, no. Don't not do it forever. Just try and get used to it. Because there's so many people, I would say if you want to start a battle pass, do Twitch, do YouTube, do tic- do TikTok, something easy. You know, something that's like you can make content and ha- observe how it's received by people or Instagram reels and then make a battle pass because it's really hard to market yourself if you have one. Like, it's really hard to grow from just doing something like OF t- and growing that and then getting into other things. I mean, think about how many, like, there's been a few... There's been a lot more people that do safe work content that go into non-safe work content and are successful rather than people that did, like, not safe work content and did safe work content and did well. You know what I mean? So, eh. But, like, you know, man, not understand your audience. What, how they're willing to spend their money. Don't underestimate their audience. Yeah, I'd say be realistic. I mean, Sasha Gray, for example, managed to do NSFW that's not the, to safe work, but it's rare. It's happened a few times, but, you know, I can name a lot more celebrities that did something else, that, you know, that did not safe work content after, NSFW content after. I mean, you can't advertise it, you know what I mean? Like, it's really hard to market. There's no, there's, you, you also get into this weird thing where it's your only thing. Like, when I say don't do it, I don't mean don't ever do it. It's a bit more. I'm just clickbaiting. But, <laughs> like, I'd say if you do one thing, you'll go fucking crazy with it. Like, I think you should always have either a side thing that you do that's that's fun, that helps. You know, that's streaming for me. I fucking love this. This is my shit. This is, like, a, this isn't a thing that I don't do if I don't want to. If I think, like, I don't want to stream today, I won't stream. You know, like, it's not a part of, like, a job that I have to do, you know? And I had a passion for doing, for taking those types of photos. You know, I liked it. It was fun. I liked doing a lot. Cardi B did Battle Pass after she was famous. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, it helps. Do something else, because Drive then you build the up your brand first, and you move them over. Then when you like the game, but the Battle Pass. Hmm. Huh? Buy the Battle Pass? Yes. Yeah. Good way to put it. <laughs> yeah, good way to put it. You don't you don't just download Fortnite and buy the battle pass. You fucking you play it. You get used to it. You figure out if you're gonna go fucking crazy with this game or not. And then you do it when you feel confident about it. You have a battle pass? I do! I made the fucking word. <laughs> but like, yeah, it's um I'd I'd say build an audience and then move them over. That's that's the whole thing. You need to diversify, and doing taboo things makes that generally harder. Yeah. It's harder to do a lot of things. I think... For me, when I was making the choice to to do it or not, um, I had, like... It was something that I wanted to do, first and foremost. Just I wanted to do that. It was something that I kind of wanted to experiment. If I get really deep into it, look, I wanted to experiment. I kind of felt like I, I lost weight, and I kind of felt just hot, and I kind of wanted to show off. That's kind of it. Like, genuinely, it was just fun. <laughs> it was just for fun. And I had a, I had something to back it up with, you know? Like, I always, I had the, like, Minecraft channel. But, like, I was just fucking being a whore. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, I just wanted to. I just wanted to fucking do it. Um, where's Jeff? She's in the bed. She's in her bedroom. She's sleeping. She's taking care of the pup. But, ugh. Yeah. Have fun is a better option, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I've seen too many people go fucking crazy. Like, there's a lot of people on... I won't... You know, obviously, this is not the time to name names. But there's a lot of people that do OnlyFans and then go, Oh, shit. I really fucking hate this. I really hate this audience. And now it's my job and I have to do it. You know? Like, there's... You know, people go a little crazy. You gotta you gotta know what you're in for. I will say people are really nice. Like, people are very, like, nice on there because they're paying to see you. You know? Like, I get awful shit on t- on Twitter where it's free. Or, like, even the Reddits, like, even just the comments on Reddit sometimes or, like, any other platform where you can talk about me without paying to talk to me. It's ov- They're obviously going to be a lot nicer when someone's paying to talk to you because they care about you that much. 
let's be honest, who loves their job? I fuck, I do, you know, but I, I, I knew that I would, you know, I, I, I don't take many risks. I haven't invested any money, <laughs> like, you know, like, I, well, that's not true, but you know, like, I, I don't, I'm, I'm really risk averse, you know, and it sounds weird coming from someone that has, like, that, like, I cannot get a job, like, I have no qualifications because I dropped out and I, and I won't be able to, like, get hired for a while, you know, because, like, I, I do this, right? You know, it's... But I also knew that I was going to be fine the whole time. I don't understand the people who do a job they hate. I do. They don't have an option. That's why. <laughs> I got really lucky. People oh, that do damn. jobs they hate didn't pick the job that they hate, you know? I am the dust... Thank you. Holy shit for the 10. Fucking Christ. Thank you, man. Woohoo! Thank you. That's really nice of you. But you're supposed to be nice to you? Yes. Video editing is your backup? Yeah. I mean, if I really wanted to, like, I could either go into video editing or just fucking... I've got a different plan, to be honest with you. I have a thing that I want to start doing soon, that I that I will start doing soon, but... I should get a job again at some point? Probably. <laughs> but, you know, people who do jobs they hate is statistically a majority. Yeah, because who would want to work for a living? Bra it's rare to find bra bra something that, like, you have to do and you like doing it, <laughs> you know? I'm re I'm absurdly lucky, because whenever I talk to people in the same industry, their mind's always at like the next thing that they want to do, which is fair. It's always good to have like, I I, I never think about like the next thing I want to do. Like I want to do this for a bit so I can do the thing that I really want to do. I'm doing the thing that I really want to do, and I have backup plans in case the thing that I don't want to do. Sorry, in case the thing that I want to do doesn't work out. You know, I have things that I can do instead that I'll like a bit less. You know. But I'm fucking going, man. I'm having a great time. It's lovely. Like, I, I have fun. Which industry are we speaking of? You know, the one. <laughs> I, honestly, everything, actually. The, the, I just mean, like, I, I work in social media in general. What would make you stop doing OF? Um, I guess if it was just unsustainable, right? Like, I guess if it just wasn't paying the bills anymore. I guess that's it. Like, I just, like, I, I'd physically have to go do a different job or I wouldn't survive, you know? So, I guess there's that. Is porn your backup? No. Jesus. That's a little bit sad. <laughs> I'd say that, like, I would never, I would never do something that would make me feel uncomfortable because I needed money. You know? I, I'm at a very good point in my life where I don't have to do that you know i would i would sooner just get a different job <laughs> you know <laughs> i would yeah i guess that hits on the whole thing of like why people fat like okay you know the thing of like <sighs> oh, that's fire holy shit <laughs> holy fuck uh sorry lighter fell and spilled there was so <laughs> shit so that was <laughs> Have you ever thought about becoming a knife smith? That would be fucking awesome. I would genuinely like to do that. If I had any talent in, like, using CAD or... Oh, I'd like that. That would be really fun. But there's no money in it. So, uh... <laughs> what was I doing? I forgot all what I was doing. New channel name, Fenboy Forge. There's already that. That already is a thing. <laughs> there's a Fenboy. Hold on. Uh, let me find him. They're actually really nice, too. They're on their Twitter, they have like, uh, Femboy4, what, what was their Twitter name? I forgot the exact name. Dude, Cad's easy. I gotta learn it. When did you start growing your hair? 2020. Oh, fucking long time ago. Femboy Blacksmithing. Femboy Blacksmithing's awesome. You don't need Cad. Swords are older than paper. Yeah, but I'm like, I, I wouldn't make swords. I'd make like, folding knives. I'd make stuff that requires like some precision that needs like a CNC. I'd like actually need to try. It wouldn't be just CAD, it would be CAD and like and CNC programming. I'd like that. You know? Love to see you in Big Femboys 23. What? You broke everyone's heart. We would love to see you in Big Femboys 23. The fuck does that mean? <laughs> would you get bangs? No. No. Because then I... Uh, CNC program is a lot more complex than people think. I know. That's why I said, like, it would be a... It'd be a look, hold on. I follow this channel on YouTube. 
They're a knife maker. They're all their knife making brothers. And I've watched As all of their shit. With no qualifications, I have gotten so many jobs that I had no business doing. I'm currently an electrician. Yeah. From my experience, you can get 90% of jobs with just pure charisma. Kind of. Kind of. I mean, you can get any job with me. <laughs> like, you know, besides something like editing work, you know? Femboy Blacksmith looks like a damn Viking. Open mouth, smile, thumbs up. Yeah, Femboy, Femboy Blacksmith is awesome. But like, I've Grimms, this is the, uh, what's it called? John Grimsmo. They're one of the two Grimsmo brothers. And they do a lot of old CNC stuff. So like, a lot of their first videos when they were doing actual knife making and not engines, I guess, was like, yeah, spider coat, it's paramilitary tear down. But they go through this whole process of making their own knife. Like, all these different little experiments on like, you know, these are all spider coat scales. Like, all these little like, Knife making Tuesday is week one. Designing and machining first test plates. Like, wild shit. And these are weird as fuck. But you can see that knife shape is the one they settled on. This one right here. Really fucking cool. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. 12 years ago, geez. Yeah, I know. They're a great knife company. I like them a lot. They're really good. I, I, I still haven't bought, like, another knife from them. I need to, I want to get, like, a... The Christmas thing's only partially true. You need to make it to the interview first. Yeah, it depends on the job. Like, if you... Sales? Eh, I don't got anyone. You know, like, you don't... A, there's a lot of jobs out there that you don't need much for besides just people skills or, like, the ability to learn it. I had a friend who, their whole thing... <coughs> Jesus, sorry. Oh, my voice is fucked. Oh. I had this friend. We knew each other through, like, they were, like, a kind of family friend, and they were kind of the crazy one. And his whole grind was applying for jobs and lying. <laughs> Just straight up fucking lying on the interview process. Writing, oh, yeah, I've been at Google. I've done this. Of course I can make your website for you. Shitty. I know. But then what he'd do is as soon as he got hired, he would, he would apply for all these jobs. And as soon as he got hired, he would learn how to do the exact job that he was trying to... He would learn how to do the exact job that he was applying for. So, like, if he needed to make a website for this job, he would say he knew how to make one and then learn how to make one. It fucking worked! He's, like, doing quite a well. <laughs> he did really well. He's also nuts. <laughs> like, the guy is genuinely just smart. Smart-ish, you know? Uh, a little illegal, I think. Probably. But pretty great. <laughs> he not... The same guy- did I ever tell you about this guy? I might have told the story before. The same guy goes on, uh, so he rented a place from whatever landlord it was, and decided, this needs a different bathroom. So he- so you'd think. He'll call the landlord, he'll say, ah, could we- the bathroom needs a renovation. What do I need to do to make that happen? You know, you could do that. No. He just tore it down. Hold on, camera. <laughs> He just tore the thing down. Camera. He just tore the thing down. He retiled his bath. He learned how to retile bathrooms, and then he did it. And the landlord came over and went, fuck it, you did a good job. Okay, I'm not going to say his name, because the same guy that I'm talking about stole a train once, and I don't really want to get him in trouble. Also, did you know you could just steal trains? It's really just a lever. It just goes forward. <laughs> There's a video of it on YouTube. And then, yeah, it, okay, look, he's done a lot of shit. Um, I'm not going to, anyway. The next, the craziest thing to me that he's done besides stealing a train was that that same house, the story's building, he went, this house is a little too small. I like the area I'm in. The area I'm in is lovely. But God, I do wish I had a porch. You know, shit like that. Hold on. Oh, hey, I did that with app development in 2014. Didn't know any app developing. Worked at that company for three years. Mm. It's, a, it's a way to do it. And then, what's it called? Where did he take the train? Down the track? Oh, yeah, he just... Oh, I'll tell you about it in a minute. I'll, I'll tell you about it in a minute. So, what's it called? Um, he goes, well, shit, I wish my house was bigger. I could put so much stuff in here. He rented a uh, digger. Like a bulldozer sort of thing. Like, just a, a large piece of machinery. And drove it through the house. That he doesn't own. He does not own this house. There's genuinely a video of this on YouTube. I mean, I, I, I wonder if I, hold on. I kind of really want to prove this to you. Um, but I don't want to show his, like, YouTube name. So, no permits, no nothing. It's not his house. 
It's dude, it's genuinely not his house to do so. So he rented this thing, knocked down the side of it, and just started rebuilding the back of the house. He just laid out new foundations. He started built it, doing brickwork. He learned how to lay bricks and do all this. There's no qualifications involved in this. He works out that he doesn't need to do any plumbing to the bit that he's adding the house to. He did need to do electrics, and he did that without killing himself somehow. I have no idea. He might actually do... He, the, the one thing I think he does know how to do is electrics. He might know how to do that. And then, um... <laughs> so... He knocks the thing down, he builds it up again, and the landlord- he never tells the landlord. And it's- uh, he- by the way, he doesn't tell the landlord for legitimately over a year after it's completed. He's completed an extension on the house. The council don't know. <laughs> the council don't know. The landlord doesn't know. There's no- planning permission, my ass. He didn't Hi, do I've shit. I've been watching you for two years now, it's insane how times fly and I still love watching you grow. By the love way- you, you. Just FYI, my mom doesn't let this guy over at the house. Like, my, my mom has specifically banned this guy from visiting the house, like, my parents' house. <laughs> I'm not kidding, this guy's fucking crazy. But he's really, he's really nice, he's really cool. <laughs> but I, I can't fucking read him, you know? So, either way, he does this, landlord doesn't visit, he comes around, like, about a year and a half later, just over a year later. Maybe not a year and a half, just over a year. And he goes, Fucking sees what's happened and goes rightfully, what the fuck have you done? But it's good. Like, it's not shitty. Like, it's a genuine, like, they've built this and he's built it well. Like, it's, he's improved the value of the house. And so what do you fucking do as landlord in this scenario? But immediately, as soon as he, as soon as he visited, this guy, a friend of the family, this, this friend, right? I really wish I could say his name. Um, he just offers to buy the place. He just says, oh. I, get, I already did it. <laughs> I already did it. You know, I've I've made the house value go up and like, there's, there's nothing, that, yeah, the, the, without planning permission, the council will tear it down. No one reported him. No one reported it. It's fine. I don't know. Like, everyone was just chill. Everyone was chill about this. I'm assuming the council don't know. But like, meh. Not really improve the value when you don't have papers on it. Not true. No one checks that shit. Dude, there's no, okay. I've bought, I've bought two houses now. I've got to sell one, but I've bought two and I've gone through the process of buying other ones before they just fell through, you know? Someone died once. Anyway, whole thing. But like, surveyors, everyone that checks stuff like that, they kind of go, that's a signature on paper, seems fine. And they move on, because there's a million things to check on a house. It's why you get all those like new builds in the UK that have holes in the walls, you know? Eh. <laughs> Low burying a house has... I mean, house value doesn't go up if the wall he put a bulldozer through was load-bearing and now the house has subsidence. I don't know what that is. Uh, but, like, he did it right, I guess. But, eh. So he, he ended up- I don't know- So this is the point in the story where I actually don't know what happened. Because I don't know if someone- If- I don't actually know if he ended up buying the house. I know that he did that because there's a whole video on YouTube about it. And he told us about it as he was doing it. But I have no idea if he owns the house now. It's just a mystery. I don't even, I- I do know where he lives. I could check. I could call him. Longer than any of my relationships. His bathroom's really Sash. nice, by the way. The retiling he did was genuine- He took like a month retiling his own bathroom, and it's beautiful. <laughs> like, he did it all himself. Colin Furs digging tunnels. In the garden, yeah. <laughs> In prison? He's been to prison. <laughs> oh, no, he hasn't been to prison. He's been arrested an awful lot, because he, you know, stole a train. Um... Oh yeah, uh, by the way, the video on YouTube where he does steal a train, by the way, he's vlogging the whole thing. It's not like he just tells these stories, he's vlogging it. He just went like, he went, yo, dude. Like, th this other video goes in the fun, he's like, it's just, yo, dude. Uh, I just watched the, the guy at the train uh, walk out. I'm Working gonna go get in. Site, I can and then tell he gets 90 in. percent of us are bullshitting our way through. You will turn the corner and see someone watching a YouTube video on how to use a saw. Yep. I don't trust any building anymore. They are made by idiots. No, they are. I swear to God. Like, we had to- there was a door being- Oh, anyway, hold on, let me tell you about this. So he just runs up to- it's not Colin Furs, motherfucker. <laughs> Colin Furs is, I'm hoping, doing everything with approval. So, like, he runs- what's it called? He runs, like, he runs to the train, he gets in. And then he went, oh fuck, the key's in it. And he just sees this big lever like in a movie and just <laughs> And it goes. And he starts laughing like an idiot. And he's going like, holy shit, we're moving, oh my god. And then like he points the camera out the window. And then the guy that is, by the way, train with people on it. 
the guy that is, you know, running the train is, like, walking after him, doing that little, like, oh, shit, like, that fast walk thing. And he goes, like, hey, and then he t pulls the lever down and gets out and fucking legs it. <laughs> that's, that's all he does. He's weird. He's a strange guy. <laughs> that's so unsafe. I know. Like I said, there's a reason why my mom doesn't let him come over. <laughs> Impulse control issue. He has bipolar. If scientists solve the secret of femboy pregnancy, would you have a child? Do come. No. I wouldn't be near a child. I wouldn't adopt a kid. I wouldn't- I wouldn't willingly have a child in my presence, let alone home, let alone in me, motherfucker. Ugh. No. Ooh. Children are loud. You know, like, babies are cute when you, like, see them, and then immediately not cute as soon as they start making noise for more than, like, five seconds. You know, they cry and you go, oh, little guy. And then they keep going. You're like, mm, I want to kill it now. I'm, I'm about done with you, you know. Dogs, at least they, when they whine, they're still cute. Dogs whine and they're cute the whole time. They're great. I'd be the type of parent to shake a baby. <laughs> Fuck. I'd be the <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't not, man. They make so much noise! They throw up everywhere, they shit and they piss and they fucking- they blow their nose into thin air, man. I fucking- Stop! My god. Dude, if that- I- I've seen fucking videos of me as a baby, I would have shaken me. Like, there's videos where I'm just like- I- my mom has this video of early childhood me. She holds- I think it was like spaghetti or something, and I just go- At work, we had a guy just walk into our yard and steal one of our coach buses. Nobody God. noticed until later. Yeah. There's nothing stopping people, you know? There's a lot of, like, there's a lot of public transport system that all uses, like, the same key or just a button that to turn on. You can just go. It's just all that's stopping you is cowardice. You can steal anything you want. Anything you want. There's just consequences. Other people's children are great because you hand them back when you leave. Open yeah. mouth smile. Like babysitting. I could babysit, but, like, oh my God. Like a week? A week of having a baby? I grab it by one leg and just, you know, fucking go. Oh, dude, Ugh. I couldn't do it. Could not. I used to climb out of my cot and bang on my parents' door. You know what my little sister used to do? Chat, get this shit. My little sister was a menace when she was younger. So I don't know what it was, and she grew out of it, luckily. But what she did was she. There's a story. She was creepy. My little sister was creepy as fuck. So Ruby, her name's Ruby. She's an adult now, which is really weird to think about. When she was, like, nothing. Like, an, an age that I don't even have the memory to remember her at, you know? Like, I must have been, like, eight or something, and she was, like, six. I don't know. Something like that. Whatever. So, oh, she's five years apart. You know, I don't remember her age. But my mom tells me this story, and she says, Yeah, there was, there was this one time your sister scared the living shit out of me. Because creepy how, like, horror movie or weird hobbies... I'll tell you. I'll tell you this one story, and you can make your mind up. Um, there's also the time I hit my sister in the head with a bat once, but I'll talk about that later. So, she, like, um, she just stands, she, uh, late at night, all the lights are off, everyone's asleep, it's like 1am. My sister gets up and walks into my mom's room, because my, my mom and dad were sleeping in separate rooms at the time, because my dad was, had this fucking, you know when you snore at night and you fucking, are like, oh, I, 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 there's a word. Either way, my sister walks into the, into my mom's room and just stands in the doorway, sleep apnea, yeah, and just stands in the doorway, just fucking looking at her, and then looks slightly past her. Just this. And then my mom wakes up and goes, oh, gee, oh, Jesus, honey, you scared me. Are you okay? What's up? Are you, what are you doing okay? Did you wake up? Did you have a little nightmare? And she just goes, who's that girl behind you? My mom, <laughs> my mom fucking shit herself, dude. She was fucking terrified. She was sleepwalking, yeah. But like, to the orphanage. I, I, dude, you're telling me you wouldn't shake that baby? You're telling me they say some of that shit and you're like, fucking what? Get out. No, this is like the sign in a horror movie where you leave. Like, everyone's going like, fucking leave the house, man. It's haunted. That, th that thing is haunted. Fucking run away. That's that moment. That's when you should have got out the fucking done with. She shouldn't have, she shouldn't have lived after that day. 
There was a time where I. Oh, her. <laughs> My nieces are great fun. Tiny humans who are surprisingly clever and inquisitive. I love taking them on day trips to places, feeding them lots of sugar, and then giving them back to my brother. I like teaching them new words. <laughs> whenever there's like, whenever we, when I was like 15 or something, we had a lot of family friends that were like having kids, and they were like, yes, what, a year. 10? And so like, or whatever age, you can't process things properly, and we just go like, yo, here's a brand new word, and we're not gonna tell you what it means. <laughs> Because kids just learn a new thing, and they're like, they go say it to everyone. We never said anything, like, really bad, but, like, you know, Young just shit that would freak people out. Young children and dogs can see the dead, dizzy face. The what? Oh, what, what was that? Young children and cats can see the dead. No, they can't. What do you mean they can see the dead? I can see the dead in a cemetery. I don't, like, they don't, you realize they can't see ghosts, right? <laughs> Do people really believe that? Yeah, kids just don't have it. it. You're gonna sit here and chat and tell me not not only that ghosts are chat. Can I give a can I have a quick like just a quick yes or no on if ghosts are real? Just your opinion. My friend's brother stole a foreclosure from a boatyard to rescue his van, all under the influence of K. Only ended up with one year driving van and 250 hours community service. Fair enough. I'm not gonna call you, like, dumb or something if you believe in ghosts. Like, ghosts in the, like, sense of- I'm not gonna- I'm not saying, like, hey, yo, F1 nothing- in tank. There's- I'm not gonna say, like, hey, we haven't found out everything that exists yet. You know, there could be something, but, but like, actual got like, spirits of dead people that can affect the physical world, or whatever. There's no- it depends if you took your pills. I'd say that if- everyone has, like, a little bit of a ghost story, but- it's one thing to go like, I don't know how the fuck that happened, and that's creepy as hell. Or go, ghost. Fucking ghost. I knew it was a ghost. It was a ghost. I know it. Dead people. Dead people can come back to life. Dead people. Not come back to life. Dead people can haunt pe haunt things. Ghosts are real. Is such an insane overreaction. Surely. Who are you going to call? There's no way, man. Anything that's been a little bit freaky, and I've gone like, ooh, creepy. And then like, you know. I think that makeup sponge moved on its own. Listen, I, I, I'm weird. Confirmation bias? Of what? Not seeing a ghost? So I have confirmation bias? What? Shit has moved in my room. Shit moves in my room all the time. I'll get high and move it and forget. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I do all the time? Like, too much as an adult. I'll look at shit and go... I'll do that. All the time. I'm so lucky Ashley is not watching this stream. I hope she's not watching this stream. I think she's doing something else. But like, dude, I've had shit fly across the room. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. You just haven't. I'm just not believing that. Like, you've been in an open room and just something floats and gets thrown. No. Think it's high? I mean, yeah, whatever. <laughs> you know, or well, like, whatever, dude. Like, there's- I- I'll fucking- I'll wake up with a bruise. Oh, shit. How did that get there? And then you go, oh, it's estrogen. <laughs> it's just the HRT. No, no, like, I'll wake up with a fucking random bruise and go, ah, man, a, a ghost could have been fucking nibbling on me. Or I just bonked my leg on a table or something, you know? Just bonked it a little hard. Like, ah. Eh. And forgot about it. There's, ton there's tons of shit like that. Remind- chat, reminder to take your medicine. True. I've seen a door handle turn on its own and the door open. You're the same guy that said that something flew across the room. I don't believe you. Or, or that, or you're fucked. God has a problem with you. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm not a sinner. And ghosts aren't after me, actually. So, I'm just a good boy. <laughs> Ghost was injecting HRT into you? I think that's just Ashley. I keep waking up with these weird little estrogen patches. <laughs> these weird, these remnants of blue. Every time she gives me tea, there's some like blue powder I find at the bottom. Is that anything? Ah, weird. <laughs> oh God, I'm not a sinner. <laughs> Eyewitness testimony is notorious. On yeah, I was gonna say if there was ghosts, there would be footage. You know, there would just be tons of footage everywhere. There'd be government shit. There'd be cover-ups, you know? There'd be- there'd be fucking... 
there at least be some document. I can at least get onto conspiracy theories about like aliens because that's borderline plausible. Like maybe, <laughs> but like ghosts, ah, you know, am I being a, am I being like, am I being a spoil sport about it? Am I am I am I getting the fun down by saying I don't believe in ghosts? What did your little sister, dude? I what did your little sister see? I fucking whacked her in the head once. I'll tell you what my little sister saw, and it wasn't an apparition. It was a fucking vision from from a dream. I like, want me to tell you why. There was this one time when I was like, Ruby was about three, just about learning to run, sort of age, and we were at this like caravan park. Like we went on holiday that you know, family's not exactly well off. Went on, to, we went to this like little holiday in this like caravan area in in like Wales. And we, like, rented a, some some shitty caravan for a bit. And then uh, me and my dad were, like, we'd set up this makeshift game with, like, sticks and a, and a ball and a bat of, uh, of cricket. Because I liked cricket at the time. And just as I was, like, the, 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 the what's it called? The, the caravan had a wheelchair ramp. So it had a little ramp so my sister could walk down it. And just as my dad was throwing the ball. I, by the way, I was, like, eight, by the way, at this point in time. Just as I was running the ball, you hear Ruby go, Hey, Dad! Boonk! Fucking... Drew the bat back. This cricket bat. If you haven't seen a cricket bat, there's an angle on the other side. I knocked her out. I knocked her out, actually. I asked my dad about this recently because I remembered, like, I, I didn't have to, like, I, I remembered my memory was a bit fuzzy on it, so I asked him. And I wanted to get, like, a thing with that. I didn't know she was there. She just came running up behind me when she was, oh, damn, was she okay? No. I knocked her out. Genuinely. Like, I, oh, hold on. Let me show you what a cricket bat looks like, chat. I know some of you, I know nearly all of you will know, but, you know. These are cricket bats. This, this is the back side of it. And this is what I got her with. The bit that's got a bit of a point to it. You know, <laughs> like, this is the right fucking there. So, I bonk her, just in the middle of the, on, right on the temple. And she is knocked out. Just, don't, gone, right? And my parents freak the fuck out. Because they think I've just murdered my sister. Because I've whacked her a three-year-old or two-year-old in the head with a... She was not older than three at the time, right? Whacked her in the head with a bat. Then <laughs> confirm misogynist. I didn't do it on purpose, man. It was an accident. <laughs> it was an accident. And then, um... Oh, my God. And then, uh... She was knocked out for, like... 20 I remember minutes? watching a oh, TV minutes, program sorry. on the paranormal like a few minutes. as a kid that made the claim that a majority percentage of people have had a paranormal experience but not been aware of this. I turned to my mother and said, and how do they know this? <laughs> sure. But like, I've been trying to be an only child. I felt awful. I bought her a little, I, bought, I did as good as my eight-year-old self could do or seven-year-old self could do. And, I sent, and like went to the fair thing the next day. And I bought her a big, I, I won a game, and I, I got her a big old teddy bear as a present for nearly murdering her. And now that's a nice little inside joke between us. That's really scary. Oh, yeah. My parents, you got to give my parents credit. They didn't even yell at me. You know, they just were worried about Ruby, but they didn't go like, You nearly fucking killed my kid, man! <laughs> like, dude, they're great. they're great. It was an accident, and they knew it. They're just good people. But like, oh my god. Could you imagine if your kid nearly fucking killed you? <laughs> like, oh my god, man. That's the kind of experience that could really mess you up when you get older. Glad you're well-adjusted, normal adult. I didn't know. That's the thing. I only learned after the fact. Like, I asked my... So, here's how this story went when I was asking about it recently. I said, like, oh, can you tell Ashley about that time that I hit Ruby in the head with a cricket bat? And then my dad tells the story, and I go, yeah, she was, like, asleep for a while. And as I was saying it, I was like... Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> like, and she was fine, you know, when, like, late, like, the next day. And my dad went, no. <laughs> and I just, I just, like, went, oh. Oh, man. Um, damn, she, like, like, but she was, like, like, fine. And they were, like, we didn't know. <laughs> I just, like... We didn't know. We didn't know if she was fine for like a while. They didn't know for hours if she was okay. You know? <laughs> like, ah. <laughs> she had like a fucking bruise right there for a bit. Holy shit. 
Yeah, certainly the story got well. Yeah, like we were tell like it's that it was uh, the perfect moment of just like telling a story or giggling and then just like. Oh man. <laughs> like I. <laughs> I think like the next day I met Ruby and said like, "Do you want to hit you in the head?" I'm really sorry about that. God, but she's nice. She 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 turned out okay. She's really well. She's, she's an excellent like. She's going to uni, you know. Like I did live in a congrats. house that I thought was haunted. Turned out to be my girlfriend telling me to get out. <laughs> Jesus Christ, just blood on the walls. He scrolled. Just period. Get out. <laughs> Why would she remember? You can cuss her. Oh, she did. Well, no, she didn't know. She was obviously told. She, well, it's not even that she re wouldn't remember. She just wouldn't remember because she was three, you know, or two, or whatever, however old she was at the time. She was really young. <laughs> but that's why she didn't remember. I barely remembered it, and I was a lot older. I was five years older there. <laughs> you still have the teddy bear? No way. Probably not, I assume. I don't think you keep the, the, the gift you got when you almost died. Actually, I... Oh. <laughs> Will not say what I was going to say. <laughs> it's a story for a different day. Uh, Definitely an evil spirit in that house. Oh, yeah. I agree. My ugh, dude, everyone gets spirits every now and then. Just you know that shrieking voice of a woman screaming, "Get out!" You know, everyone has that. It's not ghosts. Give her a blow high. Yeah, it was probably three or four when I whacked my cousin's head on the on cement by accident. She had a big goose egg on the back of her head. Oh my god! That one really chewed me out because she thought I did it on purpose. Yeah, luckily my parents were solid. They're great people. Stories are worse in reality than what you remember. When I was two, I thought I broke my wrist falling off a swing. In reality, I fell on the stairs and my brother stepped on my wrist. Nobody realized my wrist was broken for two weeks after that. Oh, how the f oh my god, that's fucked. Jesus. I don't, sometimes you don't remember shit like that. Like, there's a lot of stuff that, like... So, whenever I went to, like, therapy or something, or sometimes Ashley will ask me about things in my childhood... And I'll kind of go like, yeah, it was great. I had a great time. Like, all everything was fine. And then, like, you think about it, And then, like, you know, whatever. In the conversation, you're like, I can't think of anything wrong. Like, everything was pretty good. Everything was great. And then, like, on a, like someone will bring something up and be like, oh, shit. Yeah, dude. I remember when I was, like, dropped off of the side of the road and they drove away. <laughs> it was funny. Oh, shit. <laughs> you know, that happens a good bit. You, like, remember something, like, oh, that's less good than I remember it. <laughs> you know? That's a thing. You know? There's, there's, there's always stuff that, you know, parents are weird. <laughs> parents are a little funny sometimes. My parents always did that? What do you mean your parents always did that? Bro, stop falling for it. <laughs> if your parents are tricking you, trying to get you out the car or something... <laughs> Wait, was that trauma? Yeah, that would be a thing. Sounds like a lot of some sort of trauma amnesia. This, everyone gets it. It's a thing. Happens with everyone. I was like, everyone... Oh, now as a result, every time I move my left hand, it cracks around when I close my fist. Ah, motherfucker. Jesus. My mother ran me over with a car once. How? I'm telling you, I'd be that sort of parent. You know, I'd both, like, if I had a kid, I wouldn't give them even remotely the same freedom as I had when I was a kid. Because I was just allowed to fuck off when I was, like, five. I was just like, oh, those six or whatever. Go ride your bikes with your friends. You know, go ride your bikes with your friends. We trust you. And I was always fine. And I always stick, stuck to the same area. I never did anything bad. Never did anything wrong. They knew I'd come back. But, like, I wouldn't trust a kid. I wouldn't trust a kid at six. Like, oh, go ride your bike with, like, one one other six-year-old. Have fun. I don't know what. Look how he turned out, I know. But, like, I, I did great. It was great socialization, and I learned a bunch of skills. But, like, I wouldn't trust a child like that. Like, it was really nice for me. I think I grew up in a nice little period of time there. But I wouldn't do that. I would just fucking... I, uh, I wouldn't trust him. And also, if they got back even a moment late. Shake. Shake him. Kids need a good shaking. Babies need to be shook every now and then, or else how do they learn? Parents were less scared before phones. I'm not that old, man. I'm... 
you know, they had phones. You know, I was, you talk, I'm 23. I'm current year. Hold on. I'm like, I'm younger than current year. What's the... Uh... My dad had an iPhone, I remember that. I was really impressed. When did the iPhone 1 come out? 2007. So yeah, that was the iPhone 2. I don't know what my parents' phones had before then, but I know they had an iPhone when it came out. They had like, iPhone 3G. Like, that's my earliest memory. <laughs> You're my age, damn. What? What? Do you, why damn? Why damn, dude? What do you mean damn? What do you mean you're my age, damn? What the fuck does that mean? What does that mean? I mean thank you for the th thanks for the five hundred subs. Fucking have I'm so distracted. What do you mean? What do you mean by damn? <laughs> what do you, I'm not I'm not going away on this. What do you mean by damn? Oh damn! <laughs> thank you for the five gifted subs, Avril. <laughs> Jesus fuck. <laughs> What do you mean? And you're elderly. I'm not old. I'm 23. That's not bad. That's not bad. I'm not. I'm not old. The fuck. Golden hype train. Mm. <clears throat> you're not Gen Alpha. No. Oh my God. What are you? What are they like? Ten. Gen Alpha is like the iPad baby thing. I'm Gen Z. I'm an elder Gen Z. Oh God. Mm. How old is Gen Alpha? U W U. They're like born from two two thousand and ten to twenty twenty four. Okay, so they're like fourteen year olds. The oldest generation Alpha are fourteen. Have you seen all the people complaining about like all the all the teachers complaining about Generation Alpha? Like. Have you seen those videos on, uh, what's it called, TikTok and shit? I wanna just find a compilation. I don't wanna watch someone watch other shit. Something, though. something, I did it for the golden kappa. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, my YouTube is just being a bitch. Oh, wait, I wanted to show you this shit. Anyway, basically, uh, wait. You seem so much mature than me, not in a bad way. Okay. Um... Skibidi Riz Ohio, uh, yeah, am I right? Have you ever wanted to offer your- have you, have you, ever want, <laughs> you ever wanted to fucking shoot yourself in the head, Shan, after saying something? <laughs> it's fucking- you ever- you ever wondered if today's the day after saying one sentence? You know? It was- <laughs> In Minecraft, of course. General, general Alpha under the- Yeah, they're in school. It's been the like- Oh wait, where are <laughs> There was a viewer for a long time. Love the- love the lives, keep it up, maybe drink? I'm alright, I mean, maybe not tonight. I got things- I got- I got things to do. I got a- I got a baby to take care of. My little sister is Gen Alpha and she doesn't believe in I dinosaurs. My sister's generation often doesn't believe in dinosaurs. How do you not believe in dinosaurs? I can say that, but I don't know if I should say it, but my- Ashley- Ashley's mom doesn't believe in the moon. Or at least, I wouldn't say she doesn't believe in it. But, like, she asked. I'm, I just got a text from Ashley. Okay, it's fine. Aww. Uh, <laughs> you can look, you can see them. It's not like that. It, I think her thing was like, how is it the way it is? You know what I mean? Like, I just had, oh fuck, what was it? Like, I had to explain that, like, space still had mass. Like, not space itself, but, like, like, things in space still had mass. Like, if someone hits you with a bat in space, it's still gonna hurt, you know? Like, you know, <laughs> shit like that. Like, 
and that was fun. I don't want to say too much because I feel like I'm gonna. I'm gonna listen, chat. This is this is where I'm gonna get, like get yelled at. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna shut up. What about now? <laughs> oh shit. Finn doesn't believe in ghosts, but he believes in space. Let Oh, dude. Whew. I think space is real. I think we could go up there. You know. I don't. I don't have any real conspiracy theories. Besides about, like, celebrities, you know? Like, I don't have any conspiracy theories that are, like, really well-rounded, like, actual beliefs. But there's a lot of stuff where it's, like, like, I know that you're doing something on purpose. Like, it's, you know, shit like that. I don't, I don't have any chemtrails. Nah. What else? Oh, damn. I don't have any, I don't have any great conspiracy theories. Chemtrails? What the fuck is everyone on about with chemtrails? Stop, why did you gift five subs? What the fuck? Thank you. My god. Paul McCartney is the real Paul McCartney and he was not cloned. I don't- I've never even heard of that one. What? How is the sun on fire if there's no oxygen? That's not what- oh man. <laughs> I thought- okay. You'll hear, like, you'll hear someone say, like, some shit fusion. I don't even, dude. I, I, it's really funny that someone imagines the sun as, a, as like, a rock like Earth that's on fire instead of just a continual ball of reaction. Like, it's not, it's not on fire. <laughs> it is just fucking, it, you're just looking at a nuclear reactor, essentially, just the... Like, you're looking at a ball of what what the inside of a nuclear reactor is like. It is that. <laughs> it's so God. But, like, okay. Plasma. I don't know what the f- uh, But, like... Oh, Jesus. Sorry, I was watching, like... Anyway, let me, let me really lose some audience members. I was watching this Joe Rogan clip, and he was talking about the pyramids again. And I don't get... Listen, Joe Rogan's an adult. Right? And everything... But how? How do you not believe the pyramids were built by people? Cause like, I don't get the people that are like, Yo, there's this crazy technology that like, we don't even know how to replicate today. Yeah we do. <laughs> yeah we do. My guy, he's, you know, he says that stuff for attention. I know, but like, he hears people out on it and it's funny. But there's, there's genuinely people out there that believe that. That like, aliens made the pyramids and shit. Or like, some ancient civilization. Or like, oh, it's called DMT. Hell yeah. I like that. <laughs> you know what? There's not much you can't get away with by just saying like, Ah! I didn't know what I was talking about. I was on DMT. Eh. <laughs> it's hikey racist too. It's racist? To, to believe aliens built the pyramid? Oh, I, like that they couldn't do it? Because they're from a different- I think they just like- I think the whole thing with the- Maybe? Is it a racism thing? I thought the point was basically like, oh, they, they had no way to do it, but it's like, oh man, that's a whole, like, country work on that shit. Like, they didn't have a choice. Like, yeah, people can get a lot done when you don't give them a choice and that they're slaves. You know, that's, it's kind of how it was done. It happened, it happens everywhere. Find a good monument, slaves. It's just, just a thing. You know, people get a lot done when their lives depend on it, you know? You know, so, meh. Like, people didn't do it, so it must be aliens. Agreed. Only the British could build this bridge of... <laughs> Jesus Christ. We're good at... The British are really good at stealing shit. Oh, lighter. There you go. Racist adjacent, you versus us. <laughs> they were paid, though? Oh, yeah, but they didn't, like, you know, what else was I to do? <laughs> they probably used, like, anti-gravity machines and stuff back in the day. It was just an ancient civilization lost to the world. Isn't stealing just creative making? I think that's different. It's only when you add to it and you know, and you make a new thing. If you make a new thing out of an idea, then yeah, I guess it's just a fucking a little bit of creativity. Not if you take the thing and then now you have the thing. <laughs> I'm straight up just reading chat, looking at your conspiracy theories. This is fun. <laughs> Do you have any other ones? 
Serfdom's one of them. Yeah. I chat, you gotta tell me about conspiracy theories you believe in. I really wanna know. There is the whole lizard people thing. There's no way that's a th aliens exist. Oh, I'm on. Oh, wait, no. I'm 100% on board with aliens exist. Easily. I'm, I'm, a, I, I, I would genuinely put, like, money, my life on it. I don't care. Aliens exist. I'm not saying aliens exist and they visit Earth in futuristic spacecrafts. I'm saying aliens exist. Like, life out, life on another planet nearly definitely exists. 100%. Gotta be. It's just a good bet. I'd put money on it. I'd put- wh whoever's taking odds, you know? I'll put a lot of money on that one. <laughs> JFK 100% killed by CIA, in my mind. Have you heard that- you know the- what's it called? Um... MLK was- oh yeah, I was- oh wow, I was about to say that. MLK, like, Martin Luther King. He was, like, not... definitely killed by the government, but... It was indefinitely, but I'm just gonna say one thing. Meow. Meow. <laughs> Good timing. I'm just gonna say one thing. The family of MLK sued the government for con like either conspiracy to commit murder or murder and won. Have you ever seen Life Beyond by Melody Sheep? It is a stunning video series about alien life. Not saying that. Ye. America's just a weird little place. There's that whole thing about like the Unabomber was like what's it called? Like one of the subjects of MK Ultra too. Killed by the government. In one way or another, I guess. <laughs> Everyone's killed by something. I just want to go out by uh by something interesting, you know? I don't want to go out because of the fluoride in the water and then, you know, making me gay or something. A choke on a dick or something like that. I don't want to go out like that. I don't want it to be the government's fault. I want it to be like someone I know it's fault, you know? I want someone I want someone from Twitter to fight me. That's what I want. I want one of the people that don't like me on Twitter to get in a fight with me and then, you know, that'd be my end. I think that'd be funnier. Fimboy UFC. Damn. The universe is awesome already. Double slit experiment, relativity, Hubble ultra deep field. We took a picture of a freaking black hole recently even. Yeah. Why do people need to make things weirder? There's so much amazing stuff out there. Stoned ape theory is a fun one. Ooh, what? I haven't heard that one. <laughs> oh, God. I haven't heard that one. Finn's house is not real but is a studio set. Okay, I'm never gonna do this bit, so I'm gonna tell you about it. Fine, fuck. Can I tell you about a bit that I had planned for ages, and I didn't go through with it, because I thought... Oh. No, I'm not. I might actually do it. <laughs> Leave it, it's fine. I'm not gonna, I, I might do it. <laughs> I might do it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh wait, what? I, no, I might do it. It's, it's actually not as funny to explain, rather than do. I'm just gonna do it. Anyway, um... Apes ate, ma ate magic shrooms and developed bigger brains. That's the idea on, like, why we developed. I guess stone ape. Oh, fuck, I'm Googling the stone ape theory. Alright. Stoned ape theory. Controversial theory proposed by American ethnobotanist and. Wait, and mystic. Okay. Food of the gods. Theory claimed that the transition from Homo erectus to Homo sapiens and the cognitive revolution was caused by the addition of uh, psilocybin, I think you pronounce that word? Psilocybin mushrooms, specifically the mushroom psi- oh my god. Psilocybe cubinus. Cubins cubensis. Oh fuck, into the human diet around 100,000 years ago using large- using evidence largely based on studies from this guy from 1969. McKenna's, McKenna's argument had largely been rejected by the scientific community who cite numerous alleged discrepancies with this theory and claim that conclusions arrived at via fundamental misunderstandings of Fisher's studies. I mean... Maybe. Psilocybin. I'm saying that! That's what I'm saying! Whatever it is. Fungus. Mushroom thing. <laughs> ethno- what's an ethnobotanist? 
That's not what I said. Regions plant. Okay. Yeah, oh, fair enough. So it's I different regions. I believe that there is only so many IQ points, and so as the Earth's population increases, the average intelligence goes down. That's just like the fucking what's it called theory. That's just um. Idiocracy, right? The thing of just like, eh, go down on average. I wonder, that can't be right. Because IQ is going up, isn't it? Is average IQ going up? Is average IQ increasing? Increased by 30 points as nutrition school in the past century, it's gone up. Yeah, but where's it at now? I used to peruse this website when I was 13. The Flynn effect. Average rate of incre average rate of increase seems to be about three IQ points per decade in the United States. So it's going up. In theory. IQ is racist. Holy shit. Okay, I have heard that one before. That is a little bit nuts. But... Wait, actually, no, I haven't heard that one before. IQ actually stopped going up. We'll see. The Flynn effect. Flynn, motherfucker. Keep reading about IQ. I don't know if I want to. Now, now someone said racism, and now I don't want to. If there was anything to the stoned ape theory, why wouldn't any animals eating the mushrooms gain intelligence? Well, because it, it's like at normal evolution. It just happens over tons of years, right? I mean, I guess that they ever tested if it genuinely makes your brain bigger with different populace of animals, right? Like, surely you just get a bunch of chimps together and over 10 years give them shrooms and see what happens. <laughs> why is IQ racist? Oh, God. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Man, I can't. It feels like all of this shit is a bit. <laughs> it feels. All of this is uncomfortable. <laughs> it's not like I'm not understanding. I'm reading it and I'm just like, oh. Mm. You know. Wait, what? Kind of like how BMI was invented to test the theory that fat people committed more crimes? Is that real? Surely not. Surely not. Please. That's hilarious. That's so fucking funny. Hold on. Oh. Oh, okay, no. I don't know. Wait, what? Hmm. I want to find out. Unethical use of BMI. Oh my god. I, okay, there's like... A little bit of that? Apparently the B BMI is also racist. F1NN cow jam, F1NN cow jam, F1NN cow jam. I've got my glasses on, I'm feeling smart. <laughs> Professor Pussycat, anyone can present a one hour long presentation about anything. <laughs> it doesn't have, it doesn't make it scientific, sci oh my god, it doesn't make it science or scientific. That's true. But, you know, I guess everything's got to be peer-reviewed. Wearing glasses does not make you feel smart. Wait, does not make you feel smart? I know this first time. I feel very clever. Uh. I'm a clever boy. <coughs> <coughs> I had something in my throat. Yep. You ever, like, get something in your fucking lung? Where does that go? You know? Like, you know sometimes you, like, you drink something and it, and it goes into your lungs, and then you cough for a while, and it's fine? You look like a fem cell? I can look like a fem cell. I can try. Hold on. Let me do a middle part. Wait. Oh, shit. I need a hoodie. Ideally, I need a hoodie and, like, a bunch of, like, empty cans. Let me just... Hold up. Oh my... Okay. What do I...
Who do I- who do I destroy on Twitter? What now? Kind of cute, not gonna lie. Ugh, moid. <laughs> I don't- dude. I know the fucking lingo, dude. Fucking moid. Oh, I bet she browses B. Okay. <laughs> it's not a good thing. I know it's not. <laughs> get mocked, loser. <laughs> fucking Jesus. You never get pussy like mine. What do you- what do you have the- wait, what? What do you have the best takes on everything? And in general, be such a chill guy? Bro, you're gonna- you- <laughs> Dude, you're hyping me up too much there. <laughs> I- <laughs> Bro, why are you so cool? How come you're so sick? Like, you're so smart and clever and always right about everything. I'm gonna- thanks. Hold on, let me text my girlfriend that. So I can, like, finally prove her right. You know? Like, I'm- Dude, yo, babe, yo, babe, um... I'm actually right about everything. I'm, like, really chill and really smart, and I have great takes. So. <laughs> Pissing in the sink is based. I don't care. I'll piss where I want to piss. It's remarkable, you're so funny. I know, I'm so funny and always right and everything. Didn't you know in a straight relationship the woman is always right? True. I saw a fuck- Oh my god, I was telling Ashley about this. I saw one of those TikToks, you know those trends where they're like- You know those trends where it's like, of- Oh, I'm this, of course I do this. You know, we're this, of course I do this. You know, that sort of thing. There was one that I saw from this couple on TikTok, and it was dreadful. It was like one of those, like, it was just an awful couple. It was going, of course- Narcissist, did you really not get that bit? <laughs> like, God, there was like, there was this, there was this TikTok that I saw, and it was like, we're in a relationship, of course, oh, I was so bad, we're in a relationship, of course I make my own money and he pays for everything, and then it cuts the guy and it's like, I'm in a relationship, of course she's always right. I'm in, you know, of <laughs> shit like that, and it's just the most... It's the hardest thing to watch. It's so bad. And thanks, I hate it. I know. And it keeps going like that, man. Anthony Padir and Hank Green did a great one. A great what? Boomer Human? No, it wasn't actually. I don't think that it was meant. It was, yeah. Previous topic. I hate my wife. When I was there. like 10, me and my sister were yelling while dad was driving, so he went down this side street onto a dirt patch and ripped the hardest handbrake drift and spun the car around. Scared the shit out of us. We stopped arguing. Chat. I don't know if that's good or bad. I mean, it's not good, but like, it's acceptable. <laughs> it's kind of cool. <laughs> I don't know. What to, I don't know if I like. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, sure. You know, it's not. You didn't do anything bad. You know. It's pretty solid. It was barely dangerous. Went on to a different place to do it. Yeah, fuck it. It's just cool. Well done, good dad, I guess. Anthony did we were YouTubers, of course we- Oh, Jesus Christ. We are YouTube- Oh. I'd hate that. There's a lot of we YouTubers, of course we're- Just psychopaths is- would be my one. God. The straights are not okay. Yeah. You know what's- Okay, can I give you one thing? Can I give you a- a, a hot take before- before, um, I head off? Because I want to do something that'll make people a little bit mad. Listen. Obviously, we're all for equality. But. There's like one good flag design. There's every flag, every like LGBTQ flag. All of them suck, besides the trans one. There's one pretty flag and it's the trans flag. I'm so sorry. There's- there, there's- there's one. Have you seen the other- have you seen the polyamory flag? Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Tell me this isn't a fucking small nation state. What the fuck am I zoomed in this much for? What the fuck? This is the polyamory flag? Throw some pretty shit in there, man! That's a country! You know what that represents? I googled this. Do you know what the pie represents? Oh, it, rep it represents the infinite amount- The pie and its infinite digits re represents the infinite amount of partners you could have here for polyamorous. I've been poly, dude. That shit's cringe! 
I don't know, you do, I mean, not the polyamory thing, but that's a cringe thing to do. That's a cringe thing to have on a flag. It's cringe. This is weird. <laughs> they all are bad. I'm sorry. Hold on. Uh, what are they called? Honestly, let me, let me look at a bunch of these things. The straights are not okay. So, are you admitting you're straight and not okay or not straight and okay? We'll address Long. that later. We'll address that on, like, the 20th. So there's, like, okay, look. LGBT flag, the general one. Passable. Passable flag, it's a rainbow, it's it's a classic. Bisexual. Not bad. Asexual flag sucks. In, d polysexual sucks. All of this shit sucks. Straight ally flag actually kind of goes a little bit hard. I'll give you that one. Bigender sucks. I'm sorry, it's close. Polyamory sucks. Pansexual sucks. I don't know what that one is. Aromantic, I think that says. That looks like shit. This one looks like shit. Does that say Philadelphia? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That threw me. <laughs> the big ones, you know, listen. The big ones, non-binary. Gay? Wait, there's a whole separate gay flag? I thought it's just- what the fuck? Why is it got the worst aesthetic and color scheme out there? This sucks dick and- <laughs> The gay flag sucks dick. I'm sorry, it sucks! The- ugh, man. There's one pretty flag here, man. And it's the trans one. No wonder they're going up in population. <laughs> Listen, boomers. Make a better straight flag. Then you'll get more of them on your side! The trans flag's too pretty. You're giving them shit to brute behind, man. There's one pretty one, it's that one. The greys- the- listen, the gays are awesome, but they suck at making flags. They got one right. <laughs> I'm just- Alright, that's my hot take. Uh, chat, I- <laughs> Boomers are straight. Warden, you better clip that. <laughs> anyway, chat, I think I'm gonna- I think I'm gonna be out of here. Now that I've offended everyone. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyway, boys, I will see you later. <laughs> Love you guys. Ta-da.